Oh, hello chat, hello chat. Sorry for the delay, everyone. I, uh, I forgot to make the tea before starting the stream, so... That was a little bit awkward. Uh, happy... Yeekster, everyone. Um... I didn't realize that it would be Easter when I started this series, but... That's fine, right? There's no holier activity under the sun than streaming yeek. This mini music goes hard, actually. Yeah, that's really... I forgot to make the teeth first as a ploy to uh, get you all to enjoy the menu music, which is quite nice. I've decided my, my opinions are a bit mixed on the soundtrack so far. Some of it is pretty good, like, and none of it is really bad. Some of the battle music's a little bit janky, but it's not like bad. It's it's pretty all right across the board. I think the problem you run into with a game like this is that it becomes very hard to separate, um, like the good parts from the bad parts, they bleed together. So, for example, if the same music was playing over something that everyone loved, like, uh... Um, well, you know. <laughs> the obvious examples, Undertale, Deltarune. I think people would be much more positive about the music, even if it's the exact same thing. Whereas if it's playing in association with Yeek, it becomes very tempting just to start trashing it along with the rest of the game, so... Um, I really don't think the soundtrack's that bad. All right. Uh, let's see if it saved my game. It's enter on the menu, but oh, I was playing this with a controller, wasn't I? It was actually better on controller. Here we go. True Andrew. Not none of those fake Andrews. Don't listen to the fake Andrews. Andrew Calligan. Andrew Tate. What's his? What the fuck's his name? I think, um, Toffee Bun, who, as I've said, I'm collaborating with on my uh, next video, they did a community post a few days ago, um, when they said, like, oh, I'm doing a collab with someone, teehee, and someone in the, the comments was like, God, I hope it's Andrew Calligan. <laughs> and I have no idea if it was a joke or if they actually meant Andrew Calligan. I don't know. I'll never know. It's, it's really, really funny. Oh, the stream is still impending. Sorry, guys. Um... Here we go, it's business as usual. We're in the pizza sewers fighting a seemingly infinite string of Gengars and rats and samurai costumes. Um, I think the plot at this point, I mean, I did the whole plot recap bit last stream, so I'm not gonna redo the bit, um, but like we're trying to find the soul of some kid's sister in a sewer now because he's, um, I don't know. He's watched enough Terrence McKenna podcasts that he's convinced himself that the, specifically her soul has become detached from her body and is trapped in the sewer um, because she's disappeared. That's basically what's happened. Have I found any copies of Chibi Robo Ziplash in the sewer? Uh, not yet. Um, I'm assuming those unlock the true ending. Luckily Gengars cannot cross bridges and or the uh, level designers could not figure out how to connect the navigation mesh across these bridge assets, but um, I think diegetically they just can't cross the bridges, is what I'm going to go with. Hmm. The stream has only 32 viewers so far. I wonder if that's because of uh, Easter effects or if everyone just is immediately sick of Yeek after one stream. <laughs> Who knows? It could be Easter fucking with it somehow. All the, uh, the funny 12-year-olds who are my main demographic are gonna be hunting for eggs or something. Oh, it's full of devout Christians. They're all at church right now. That's true. When they should be worshipping at the Church of Postmodernism. Will there be more unbearably pretentious monologuing in the stream? What do you think, Rosary? Take a guess. What do you think? Um, I, I'm actually kind of weirdly hyped to get back into this game because, like, it wasn't very good, but, like, it's been weird in ways that I didn't expect, and the plot, I have no idea where it's going right now whatsoever, so, um, I'm really actually quite curious to see where it goes. 
Um, it, it's sort of like if Deltarune was fundamentally not very good, but still interesting, you know, in the way like I want to see what happens in Deltarune, I also want to see what happens in Yeek. Even though I'm pretty sure I won't enjoy it very much. Alright, let's attack a rat. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the, the meta is to spam LP toss and win. Okay, so, um, I'm at one health, though. Okay, I forgot res saving does not restore your actual health. I really just made it sound like a great game. <laughs> Interesting game. I'm not gonna like it, you've heard all the reviews. I, I don't, I'm not saying I'm gonna like it, but that doesn't stop me being curious. Um, do I have enough PP to do an LP toss? No. So I should really heal, then. Oh wait a minute, LP toss is strong against the um, the living feces, but not the- wait, what's that thing? A samurai tortoise bee. It's a different samurai tortoise. Well, maybe this one's weak to LP toss? I don't know. Wait, there's a little thing there. There's an actual, like, elemental icon with in really low resolution. What is that? Does that mean it's weak to fire, it's resistant to earth, it's resistant to plants? D since when do we have elemental attacks though? Our attacks are like disc and music elemental. Uh, chat says, uh, besides Alex, who's my favorite yeeks yeekster character? <laughs> yeekster. Um, my favorite character? Uh, honestly, Alex is my favorite character so far just because he's like the most... Um, I guess multi-dimensional by default like we Michael stopped sort of being relevant immediately Michael's just a dipshit who invented 4chan um, Vela is like the um, I don't know she's she's the sassy girl one so far <laughs> like that kind of trope but uh, she hasn't really done much besides that we don't really know much about her backstory um, and I forget the new guy's name, because he joined half an hour ago. So, let's see. I have to attack an enemy at some point here. Uh, I'm getting distracted. Uh, let's just take some, uh, some foods. Do I have any double restores? Why are burgers so weak? Whatever, I'll take a burger. I can use one LP toss. His name is Roy. Close enough. Bitch in strength! Oh no. I've forgotten how to do the combat. We're all fucked. Um okay, beatdown is really good now, I remember. They they buffed it. Your brain wiped memories of this game as a defense mechanism. <laughs> cool. That's going on the box. Alex Yeek isn't from Canada. He's from New Jersey, apparently. People keep saying this game is in New Jersey. I don't even really know where New Jersey is, to be honest, but I'm assuming it's uh, somewhere in Vermont. <laughs> Um, this guy is just a pacifist, right? Look out for number one. Literally Undertale. Uh, and okay, let's see if like restarting the game unbroke uh, Mike's special ability, because I I literally could not get it to work. Like the last ten times in a row I tried it, it just failed last stream. Oh, now it works. It fixed itself. Okay. I don't know if I was just really that bad, or if I'm pretty sure it was like a some sort of bug because I said no it just stopped working suddenly. This is gonna be a whole fucking task, isn't it? Oh god, the AOE's are pretty harsh, but for two damage, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Wasn't it Connecticut? I don't know. It changes every time I ask. All right, now uh, Alex is gonna do his big move here, and everyone's gonna die. I think. Um, I don't even know exactly how to spam this, but people said spamming it is really good, so... Oh, you can only shoot twice? 
How does this even work? This was like much easier when I tried it before. Oh wait, if you hit them once, they get stuck. Okay, well that sucks because I didn't know how to do it really. I'm assuming you hit it once and then it stays still, then you freeze time and spam. Because I didn't realize you could only shoot two shots at once. It's like an NES game. So you can't really spam that effectively. The game takes place in Toronto? This is not what Toronto looks like. Yeah, give Toronto some credit. It's not just an infinite suburb. Uh, why are we fighting Ninja Turtles in Yeek? Because it's the 90s. Ninja Turtles are endemic to the 90s. Um, Velo's out of PP. The party is in really bad shape right now, uh, which is unfortunate. Oh, why do I use a basic attack? Oh no, because I'm out of PP. Okay, well the turtles are weak to the Kitar. I forgot about that. Every Omori character has a New Jersey accent. Is Omori in New Jersey? I, I, I don't know. It's all the fucking same, dude. Small town America, who gives a shit? <laughs> Would be a pretty, pretty funny prank to use PP HP swap on Vela so she could have special attacks but was also dead. Look out for number one! Yeah! Uh, maybe use an item so that Rory doesn't immediately die here, Michael. I've got lots of cheeseburgers, those are pretty good for healing, I think. They speak in faraway town accent. That's really slow, wow. I think that's his ability though. This battle music's a bit jank, but it would be less jank if the battles didn't last half an hour. Uh, these enemies in particular just seem very like inordinately tanky. Uh, this guy's resistant, but I'm focusing him already, so I might as well just attack this dude. In strength. It's Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood OST. <laughs> That's I've never even heard of that Sonic game. I thought I knew all of them. Uh, I used to watch the Game Grumps play like most of them, but never heard of Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood. God, they're so tanky. Michael! That's my name! Fuck. Hm. I said no the real penalty for missing is that uh, you have to watch like 10 minutes of animations play out for no damage. The Sonic Chronicles OST was made entirely in two weeks because they accidentally deleted the whole soundtrack and couldn't recover it. Why does that only happen in like massive prod, uh, like massive software development kind of settings? Like if you had some dude just working on a soundtrack, you would have five backups of it. But for some reason, once you're working for a billion dollar corporation, you start storing all your data on like a single floppy drive in a toaster in your kitchen or something. Why does that happen? Okay, get your seven damage in, Alex. I mean five, because you got a, a shitty swing. Oh, it was a critical hit, though, so it was eight damage. How do you screw up that badly? I don't know. The timing here is weird and tight, but sometimes it works. Does the game have a way to turn off battle animations? Uh, you can fast forward, which I've never used. Um, maybe I'll start using that. Oh, it tells you the attack element here, but this does not deal damage. So I, I just never noticed that there was th that little elemental icon before for some reason. Uh, oh yeah, apparently Michael was fighter type. 
I wish he just actually like used funny types, like he was a camera type attack and enemies had camera resistance, but um, lo-fi record weakness. Oh well. Um, I think Alex can finish that guy off. It's hellacious, though. Hellacious Blue Raspberry Holocaust. This game gives you plenty of time to enjoy the bang and fight music. I wish I could just patch in the Epic Battle Fantasy 3 soundtrack. If you want actual bang and fight music. That's what we need for this. Um, Alright, finish off the tortoise, Alex. You can do it. Thank God. Please give me like a water fountain soon game. I don't want to have to spend an hour healing all these guys from the menu. Bella. Rory is technically a benefit, but because he deals no damage and takes time to have his turn, he actually slows the game down even further. Rory only has one skill, which is PP Swap, and I've never used it, so yeah, the, his PP's kind of going to waste over there. We did it! We won the game, guys! Back to the pizza sewers with you. Um, cat? Deploy the cat, Alex. Uh, nice. A bunch of soda pop in the sewers, alright. Um, if I save, it's not going to uh, respawn the guy, right? It's not Dark Souls. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. What's the Rory bit? Why is he a pacifist? Uh, there's no bit so far. Like, the bit was introduced um, by giving him a pacifist ability in battle. Like, he's not mentioned that outside of it. Um, I think maybe the association the game's working with is that Rory's some sort of uh, dippy... Uh, paranormal psychedelic enthusiast, which makes him vaguely hippie adjacent, which makes him a pacifist. Maybe that's it. Um, everyone ready for Alex's hair tentacle? Brace yourself. Three, two, one, trigger warning, go. Okay. Uh, there is a, a, a thing. Oh, I, I don't even remember being in this room. Let's go back. Oh, here it is, okay. You hate the hair tentacle, it pisses you off. Uh, did I, I got the good dungeon key like half an hour ago, right? I mean, by which I mean a week ago. Half an hour in game time. Well, good thing I did. Um, is there a water fountain in here? There's no enemies yet. This is a cool room. What's inside the chest? Five revives, wow. Um. Oh, they got the quantum fluctuation signal from Outer Wilds as part of the soundtrack, that's cool. Um, crack? Is that just say crack? Why would it say that? Um, combat. It is a good idea to get acquainted with all of your skills. For example, did you know that Bella has a skill called Banish that can expel an entity from combat without killing it? Um, I'm assuming that was referring to specific entities like the, the Starman from earlier. Um, in which case, that's kind of a spoiler, dude. You're just going to tell me that that's going to come up? Um, but if it really does work on anything, then I guess it's... Uh, that's good to know. We need three more keys. The dungeon is not even close to over. We've just started the dungeon. This is like when Simple Flips has been playing a troll level on Mario Maker for two hours and he finds the first checkpoint of five. Um... Oh, 40% PP, that's pretty good. And it's cheap as well, wow. Or maybe it's not. How much money? I have 300 bucks. 
I can definitely afford myself some birch burr. Um, how many? Okay, I can buy multiple. It's better than Earthbound already, guys. You hear that? Yeek is officially better than Earthbound. Great choice! Um, some of these, I guess, too. Have I played Omori? Yes, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Omori. I, lo I loved Omori. Um, I'm such a yeek pilled actual god. Inputs. Oh, I I accidentally uh, re-encountered it by pressing the button too many times. It's a hazard. I feel like it buffers your interacting with it. Like when the menu's closing, if you click it again, it buffers you opening the menu a second time. Um, Omori, of course, everyone talks about its pacing problems, and it absolutely does have pacing problems, but um, I was just enjoying the game so much that it it felt more like um, a, a test of will to get back to the story than uh, boring. It was, it was it stressed me the fuck out, basically, because <laughs> the game makes you go so long without plot progression. Um, I ended up, uh, the day I beat Omori, I pulled an all-nighter just because, like, the, the final... Um, section of like dungeons dragged on for so long and I just refused to go to bed because I wanted to see the ending so I was up till like seven in the morning can I fall onto the sledge no Ooh, cool animation bug there how did they do that hmm I'm not sure there's a massive ninja turtle there holy shit this is a fake ladder, because it has some missing bits. I can just steal the chest, can't I? Oh, that's the hair tentacle. Oops. Not the cat. Oh, what? Dude, come on. They put an invisible wall, so I have to beat the pizza turtle. Fuck you. Uh, did we golden alpaca? I saw the golden alpaca once, if you mean the um, Beck Noir. Hmm... Is there a, an ambush in here? I'm not sure this game can do ambushes. 20 big ones. That's a lot of birch beer. I should maybe do some menu healing. I don't think there's going to be a water fountain. And recognize a, a hub room when I see it. Uh, where is it? Items. Let's use all these shitty healing items that I'm never going to use in battle. Like, uh, base hamburger. 25%. Who cares? 35%. These are outclassed. I can just spam these a bit. Um, a slice of pizza for Detective Halligan. Just cheese. Doesn't even tell you what kind. That's probably fine. Car bomber actually made Undertale. I don't know why I thought that would be funny. Uh, I think the bar is fairly low in this context for comedy. You just it just sort of whatever feels right. Um, God knows I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I spent half of these streams just like referencing other fucking YouTube videos I watch, which is like the most people say puns are the lowest form of humor. I think that's actually um, supersedes it as a lower form of humor. Uh, and below that, of course, is whatever the fuck they do during the, um, the Snapcube live fan doves. And below that is the Games Repainted uh, streams, but that's the hierarchy as it exists in my mind. What did I think of Mario? Uh, I don't... I, I didn't watch the movie. I'm not really going to. Uh, I'm not really interested in, in the Mario movie, to be honest, so I don't have any opinion. Alright, get ready for the next half hour of your life. Oh wait, this isn't a turtle, this is Johannes Vermeer, which is probably a reference to some sort of uh, Dutch astronomer from 1490. God, I love being an adolescent monstrosity samurai tortoise! Do you get the joke? 
it's a Dutch painter. Close, close. It was a Dutch something. Um, oh, I, I, okay, the, the, the joke clicked at the last second, because the Ninja Turtles are all named after Renaissance painters, so. Uh, that's, that's mildly funny, I guess. Um, do I want to try the LP toss? Everyone says this is OP if you do it right, but I've yet to make it work. Okay, so they go so fucking fast, dude. What are you supposed to... How is this help? Sick on my sick oh. shot. So I only hit that one once. Animal. Okay, they're both fucking immune to it. I said no anchovies! They nerfed it. Oh. Uh. Go to shell. LP toss gets better the more you use it. It's legit broken because you can stack damage. The more you use it? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like within one attack, or does it actually just get better as you play the game? Shut up about anchovies, they say. You used to be able to spam it. I think maybe it just sucks now. See, this is why I wanted to play the 1.0 version of Yeek. I knew they'd be hiding all the fun shit behind the uh, the patches. Um, so Vela's Water Elemental. That's good to know. Um, and these are Earth weak to Earth? So let's see how that translates to water. Resistant, okay. Um, it says Jewish pizza? No, that's just a... Uh... Wait, that was deleted. Was that some something, some sort of horrible racist thing that I read by accident but didn't get? I hope not. <laughs> it's, it's really worrying to see it get um, immediately deleted like that. Uh, pizza is just a reference to the mystery of the druids because the, the main character for some reason pronounces it like that for the whole game. Uh, okay, I guess we're- I guess we're being pacifist. Not much choice there. Uh, why are the elemental icons so fucking low res? It's actually bothering me now. They don't look like anything else in the art style. Um, let's try photo shoot, because I can just mash the button and win. Wait, it- Ow! It just wasn't registering for quite a while there. I don't know what happened. I got like a Windows error sound. Okay, remember the strat for this one. Yes, okay, they're weak. It's like slightly before it actually gets to the character. Another one. Fuck. It's hard to tell there because the actual alignment is ambiguous. Like, it's a big round glove and like a sort of large character sprite. So telling when they're actually aligned is not um, as simple as just looking at the little... the tick on the gauge. Um, they're resistant to my attack, so I can just... I won't waste PP on them, I guess. You hate the grunting, says so that's uh, the grunting could be could be better. Look Probably a whole science one. to that. I watched an interview with the um the guy who did Gideon Offner's voice in Elden Ring, and he was saying that like originally he was just hired to make grunt noises, but then they liked him so much that they gave him a major character role. Such a funny career path, like voice actors must have sometimes. Cause that, that's someone's whole job on like all of these projects is just to go oh, 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 into a booth for an hour and then get paid and go home. I feel like Vinny would be super good at that. If he wasn't a streamer, he would be the guy that people paid just to make grunting noises. 
Um, do I have enough? I can do a beatdown still. LP toss is not at all a good use of PP unless I actually know how to exploit it or whatever people say it's good for. That was a good one. This guy's fucked. He's not. 52 damage and he's still alive. These guys are just tanky. Why are they so tanky? Oh, Jerma would do it too, yeah. Yeah, Jerma would be good at that. Um, Vela. This should kill? It only has, has two health left. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Look out for number one. Every character is like a mini boss now. I, uh, I mean, enemy. Dun, 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 dun. They got that walking baseline though, so it's not all bad. Keep it splashy. Take the base for a while. Oh, shut. Um, no PP left for Alex. Um, this is her life now. Ooh, but that perfect attack is going to do some work. Only 15 damage? Wow, okay. I've, I've gotten too used to how overpowered the um, the beatdown is if you can spam it. I hit for 50 last time. I should uh, try Rory's skill. I'm, it says PP swap. I'm assuming it just swaps a character's health and PP, which is has questionable utility. Um, like, I could try it on Alex right now, but that would put him really close to death, and he can't even have 20 PP, so it seems like a really bad idea, to be honest. Uh, actually, no, Vela, just heal uh, Alex's PP real quick with the birch soda. I wish I had birch beer in real life. I'd like to try that. Birchin! Wait, I hit Michael? Oh, how the fuck did I screw that up? What an idiot. Um, Michael! The, the panel's gonna take even longer now. That's my only penalty. Uh, Alright. Try that a second time. Target Alex. I think in my mind I was targeting the enemy somehow, even though that makes no sense. Alright. Fuck him up, Alex. We got some time energy in the bank. Let's go to town. That was a good mash. Not bad. I said no anchovies. LP toss will 100% get better than record scratch as time goes on. It didn't get nerfed that much. As time, I don't get how what it means by when time goes on. I'll have to see, because right now it seems like even with the time slowdown, it's like unusable. All right, Bella, hit the enemy. Ah! Oh, Michael. If the battles are gonna be this. Uh, slow from now on, I'm, I'm putting it in easy mode. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, hold on to any vestige of like the game's intended difficulty if it's just gonna waste my time. I, I don't give a shit. No time energy, don't fall into the trap. Well, a little bit of time energy. The bitchin' strength, though. I hope easy mode makes the enemies less tanky and doesn't just give me, like, more health. That would be the ultimate, like, kind of, uh, ironic hell. Is they patch in the yeek story mode, but it just makes you invincible and it takes just as long to get to the story. That seems like them. Um, I don't want to speak too preemptively, but I get the impression that these devs would be the kind of people to, uh, to have like a, a widespread complaint about the game and then put in like a passive aggressive patch that seems to fix it, but actually makes it worse just to, uh, to stick it to the haters. 
but maybe not. They, they did um, bite the bullet and do the reduced monologues mode, so that's, uh, th they're not that pity. But didn't they do something like that? That was, that was already apparent, like... They made a fake patch that just made fun of people. Uh, what am I thinking of there? Oh, it's the golden alpaca. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, people complained that the the alpaca made the game too silly, so they made it into a deviant art OC, which is that's not a gameplay concern at least, but it's uh that that's what I was basing my extrapolation off of. Okay, at least Michael can actually do some damage to these. Um, you're thinking to hunt down the Freeman, which added the achievements making fun of themselves rather than fixing the game. Oh yeah, hunt down the Freeman is another <laughs> debacle. I remember that. Um, Quite funny, actually. You fucked up my face. Is this a boss or an enemy? It's a it's a normal enemy. Um, but these enemies are way tankier than the enemies earlier in the dungeon. Like twice as tanky. I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm supposed to have leveled up previously at the save point. I don't know. I'll, I'll level up after this. All right, we beat the final boss. Hundred dollars, though. That is a lot of money. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a key in this chest. Otherwise, this is a huge waste of time. Purple key. Yep. So, I mean, it's still kind of a waste of time, but it's at least a necessary waste of time, is what I meant to say. Hunt down the Freeman playthrough. <laughs> um, I'm, I wasn't really considering it. Uh, I said I would level up. You hope Yeek was someone's first video game. <laughs> Statistically, that would be a weird... I don't feel like even the most oblivious grandparent would be able to get Yeek for their kid for Christmas, like sometimes happens, because it's like... Oh, I'm clipping in. Skip? Can I, can I clip into the crack machine and skip the dungeon? I don't think so. But um, it's like digital only, it's like a weirdo indie RPG, no one's grandma's getting that. So they'd have to be like an already adult person who is just getting into video games for the first time from some other background, and this happens to be the first one they hear about. And it looks interesting and they're from the 90s so it appeals to them, um, and they don't know what they're getting into. That's like the only scenario that someone would play this as their first game. But people really like the first games they play, like even... Uh, it was a comment on like a cyber shell video or something talking about like how uh like back in his day he had the zoomers who were defending sonic adventure or whatever is the best sonic game and or the, the the millennials i guess and now we're getting into like the zoomers who played sonic 06 as their first game and are now defending that um or actually no it wouldn't have been sonic adventure that needed defending people like that game um uh, you know i don't know enough about sonic lore to accurately convey the analogy but Essentially that. Like, there are people who played Sonic 06 as their first game and legitimately think that it's underrated and, uh, and people give it a bad rap for no reason. That really sounds like the fucking quantum fluctuations sound from Outer Wilds. And just the choir pad in the background. That's getting to me. Sonic Colors, maybe? Yeah, that sounds, that sounds more right. Or, um, maybe Sonic Heroes? I don't know. Sonic Heroes was uh, before 06, wasn't it? Okay, let's go to the Mind Dungeon, guys. You ready? My first game was Mario Kart for Game Boy. This is chat, by the way, not myself. I don't hate it, but my memories of it aren't too strong. That was one of my first... I My first console was a Game Boy Advance, so I had Mario Kart... Um, my actual first game, besides like free flash games from the internet, was Spongebob the Movie, the game for the Game Boy Advance, which was 
Uh, it wasn't a bad platformer, I recall. It was a licensed one, but it had some, uh, it had, it, it was fun. But I, I never beat it. I remember it being brutally hard, but it was probably just like, uh, sort of old school punishing and I couldn't handle it as a, a seven-year-old child. So this is some sort of weird psychological effect. The more time I hear that vocal sample, the more inextricably it becomes Joseph Anderson. <laughs> I don't know why. It, like, because now it sounds exactly like Joseph Anderson every time, whispering in my ear. What's going on now? I'm leveling up. This is how you level up. I even went to the um, the the upload of this on YouTube, the sound, to see if anyone knew what the sample was, but no one was talking about the sample. Uh, for some reason, the comments under this video soundtrack or the, this game soundtrack on YouTube are all just discussing the game being shit, and it's like uniform. It's not about the song. It's like no matter what video you go to, it's just about like, wow, this game sucks ass. It's really peculiar. All right, let's see how many times we can level up. Only twice. Alright, that wasn't as much as I hoped for. The sample's actually from an Andrew Cunningham video. Uh, I don't sound actually that much like Joseph Anderson, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, I gotta choose. Oh wait, no, I did this floor. I forgot how it worked. I do have to level up first and then choose. It's the Gaster Crow, yeah. Wait, I don't have enough X. Oh, I do. Okay. I thought I thought the crow said something condescending. I was reading chat, so I missed it. Um, a skill. What's this? Protest. Hopefully that deals, I don't know, damage? Um, so, I'm really feeling the appeal of a glass cannon build only grows stronger the longer I play this. So I think we, we put the low points into the ones where we get the bonus. And then we dump the plus three into strength. Let us hear the gastro crow. Um, it wasn't doing any voiced lines then. If you wish to level up, it will cost you 100 XP. I can only level up once. God, that sucks. So I'm not under level. The enemies are just that fucking tanky. Um, in which case, I'll probably just put on easy mode because this is a pain in the ass. I don't want this series to take any longer than it has to, right? The appeal is just all the, the weird dialogue, really. Um, I'm not getting sucked into like sticking with a stupid combat system for no reason. Is it config? Uh, assist mode. Oh, it's unlimited time energy. Story mode? What? It, let's see what story mode does. Let's just see what happens. The combat could have been fun. Like, I wasn't sure what people, like, I didn't find the comment that unbearable the last stream like it was slow but it was all right but that last fight in particular was just absurd like I don't want to do that again um, and there's nothing to indicate that that fight was special it was just two of the same enemies we've been seeing the whole time okay gotta leave the dungeon what's behind door number two It was the enemy blocking the key, so it was stronger. I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, ooh, a golf cap. What's it do? Um, equipment. Okay. We have a propeller beanie. Um, oh, it's a luck bonus. Um, does anyone have decent luck? I think Vela has really bad luck. 
Uh, Michael's luck is not too hot. Oh, Alex has very high luck. I'll probably give it to him because it's that'll cause more crits, right? We want crits. Uh, does Rory not have a hat? Or oh, Rory has his top hat, right? Hipster scum. This Rory should be tanky. Um, oh, uh, Vela can have the propeller beanie. There we go. That is a big bonus. Wow. Why does the game have stats for crits? That's pretty normal. Um, even like um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga has the mustache stat, which uh, gives you critical hits. Oh, I solved the puzzle. All right. Uh, Edgar Degas. Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. Just like my radical blade. How does the metaphor track? It's not what you see, but what you make others see. I'm not sure that actually works for the, the blade, but... Alright, let, let's feel that story mode feeling here. Uh, how is this going to go if I... Um, pan this, move jazz. If I just use beatdown on this man. Wait, this is the other type, which is strong against it. Whatever. Basic 10 hit combo. They're still tanky, what? What did story mode actually do? Uh, I'm a bit worried. It's like the genocide route where the point of the story is to suffer. There's no difference. <laughs> oh, I didn't have any time energy shit. Why did it all regenerate suddenly there? What did they do to earn that time energy back? Oh, he's dead. Hmm. So story mode isn't that much of a change, apparently. PSO lobby music? It, this does sound like, um, like GameCube mini music or something, yeah. It's the illusion of choice. Story mode doing literally- oh, okay. I have to keep in mind, like, some people in chat are just sort of speculating wildly. They don't actually know what it does. You forgot about Rory's hair. Yeah, Rory looks kind of like a, a who. He's got that very big, um, what's it, what's it called? The, the, the line underneath his nose. It has a name. I always want to say Glabella, because that's an option in the FromSoft character creator, but that, that's not what it's called, it's something else. It's Michael. definitely not a perineum. Uh, photo shoot? Let's try photo shoot. I just have to mash, right? Still not Filtrum, thank you, JD. Ah! Story makes the oh. hit zones on PPEs easier. See, I don't want easier, I just want faster. Oh, okay, so that's it just makes the hitboxes shitty. Because I clearly missed, but it still gave me the win there. Hmm, that's not what I want. Uh, maybe I'll just enable infinite time energy so I can spam L, um, like, on record scratch. That, that might be better. Because this is not the difficulty options that I wanted from Soft. I mean, uh, Yeek Studio. I forget the name. Uh, let's see what Protest does. Uh, fight for what I believe in, chance of lowering an enemy's luck. That does not seem very useful, but okay, what's it do? Not my America. Damn right, Rory. Oh, it's not a QTE? Is that- is the enemy stunned now? I guess we'll see. Yeah, the, the QTEs are way easier now. I, I, I can feel that. Ugh. 
got some smelling salts. A silver key. All right, two keys down. Uh, let's try spam mode. Inf infinite spam mode activate. This rat has a, a massive vertical hitbox. Boing. Not my Ninja Turtles. Exactly. Okay, I'm busting out the tea here. I want to bust out the tea before my voice actually starts to hurt. Okay. La rata gigante. <laughs> Does my party have health? Uh, Alex is at 1 HP for some reason. I'll fix that. That's because he died last battle. Items. Hog. Um, is there a sorted menu? Because these are like random uh, like equipment mixed in with the healing items. Let's use the pizza. Uh, burger, I guess. Sure, that, that's fine. I have infinite spam mode, so I shouldn't have to worry about um, being in too much danger, really. Left D-pad brings up the same menu as... Why? It, you can't move it, but you can still bring up the menu. That's very strange. Whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. If I die in real life, I die in the game. Fuck, that's a cool feature. Alright, ready for- There we go. It's a big turtle. Rembrandt Harmiz Harmonzoon. I know Rembrandt, at least. I'm not a, a cretin. I watch Baumgartner Art Restoration. She's only one bodacious master. Ass kicking. Hair whip is never used outside this dungeon. That's kind of good. Oh, it's just one dude. Is he like super strong? Okay, infinite time energy means infinite spam. And it's like even slower, I think. Okay, this will speed things up a lot. Oh my god. 40 hit combo. <laughs> This guy's resistant, it's too bad. He's still Go relatively tanky. I can still entertain myself by just not using the time energy to dodge too. Man, suddenly I love difficulty settings. Dark Souls should have a, a, an easy mode and a hard mode. It should have all the difficulty settings in the world, I'm convinced. Uh, what, what's his face? Not, um, I actually forget if it was George Rockwell Schmidt or Noah Caldwell Gervais. They both have three names and make YouTube videos. Um, the, the guy who's in the van and makes video game essays, what, the one of two who's that guy, um, made a good point about Sekiro having an optional hard mode, but no optional easy mode, which I think was quite well put. It does seem kind of silly when he puts it like that. It's like, why can you... Because I think fucking uh, random streamers just sometimes activate the hard mode without really knowing what it does and um, and piss themselves off. And that's the worry that people will go to an easy mode without knowing what it does and, and miss on the game, so it's, it's the same issue. I thought that was just a neat point. Michael! Perfect! Um, spam mode. The, I can play the game faster like this, but my physical muscles are going to wear out, like my tendons are going to atrophy if I keep doing this too much. You cheated not only the game, but yourself. <laughs> 
but fucking copy pasta. <laughs> ouchie, ouch. Thank God. By not getting groceries, I accidentally enabled Yeek's hidden. Make the battles take 10 times longer mode and you can't turn it off. Very good. Uh, you're reading up on the 1.25 patch combat changes. Oh, we got Yeek balance changes. What we got? Uh, Beatdown is introduced as a PP move instead of your basic attack. Beatdown used to be your basic attack. Oh, that kind of makes sense because those take way longer than the actual basic attacks. Rory being buffed and adding the element system. Rory does seem pretty good, and elements I, are certainly now a part of the game. I'm not sure if they're good or bad yet. <laughs> the end of the game is going to be like, you could actually spare people this whole time through a tiny button in the corner, but you didn't notice, you monster. I hope so. <laughs> that would be really funny. That's what it did with the time energy. It's like, you can now slow down time with this tiny box in the top corner that for some reason I never looked at, and so I didn't notice it was there for like an hour. Oh no, I am soft locked. Just kidding. I whip my hair back and forth. Decimate them. The last man. All right. Let's save again. It was one pixel of the mystery man from Undertale in the top right corner. It was the key all along. So I think what I'm going to do, the actual play here, is to disable story mode but keep assist mode on. Because that keeps the dodge timing challenging, but still lets me uh, cheese any battle that takes too long by using infinite mash technique. I think I like that idea. Uh, don't exit. Or do exit. Just don't exit the game. Is it going to make me do one at a time here? Yep. I'm so glad I had the option to choose which lock I take off first. And I didn't just take off all the applicable locks at once. LP toss can reduce bosses to negative health. <laughs> Sounds sweet. Okay, this is the boss for sure. You can tell because everyone's making a really stupid face in a freeze frame oh, for some Rory, reason. You are so wrong. So wrong. Can't you see her too? That's my sister. That's Carrie. Oh shit! It's an entity! We need to get the hell out of here! So it turns out that sign telling me that I could banish entities was because we're gonna fight an entity. That guy totally has a dick, by the way. Interesting Wait. looking. We need to remain calm. We need I... to try and talk to him. It's Vivek, kind of. Carrie! Carrie! I brought some friends. This is Alex, Michael, and Bella. They're gonna help us. Rory, that isn't your sister. It's... Shut up! That's Terry! Can't you feel it? It's so familiar. I can prove it. She understands what I'm feeling. What I'm thinking. I've never been this close to anyone. Trust me, it's her! Why is the rendering Rory, different there? That's not Carrie. What the fuck happened? Rory, that's you. Or you can tell that it has the same hair. <laughs> That's not a very good angle. What the hell are you talking about? That's your soul survivor. Your spirit, your consciousness. Oh, How soul survivors be? are people. I'm right here. Bella, what the hell is going on? You need to explain this. Hey, I'm walking here. What really happened to your sister? Something about your story doesn't add up. Let me hear the truth. Rory, please. I'm here to help you. Did your sister really vanish? 
No, she she jumped off the overpass. Oh. Uh, she just face pops. Rory. <laughs> Fucking Mike. That's terrible. Why did she do it? What the hell kind of question is that? It was those bastards at school. Stupid shitty girls always ragging on her, going out of their way to make her feel bad. Picking on her for being my sister. Ugh. There's a school? It's all my fault. It's all because of me. Because of what I'm like. You know? How did you find this place, Rory? When did you first see your sole survivor? It was two weeks after she died. I found her things. I came down there thinking she fell down. Or something. I don't know. And then, I thought, I thought about dying too. I wanted to die. I needed to get away from this world. I needed to find her. But you knew she was dead, didn't you? Of course. But I... It's okay. You can tell me. I'm not judging anything you say here. Tell me all of it. I surrendered myself to the ether. To the realm outside of this one. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, Bella? I do. Go on. What happened when you left your body? I didn't get far. I separated from my physical form, and then I saw my body and my sister, which you say is me. Did you leave the Earth? I was so close. I was so far away. And then I saw it. The sole survivor. The entity. Whatever the hell you called it. Rory, please listen to me carefully. You left your body when you surrendered yourself to your misery. You abandoned this physical form. And your soul was about to enter the soul space. Soul space. But what you saw was not your sister. That soul over there is not hers. It is yours. I died. I, the soul space I, I just don't know what the ad did. They, they won't stop talking. Look at the entities. I see the marks of your soul, and I can tell you that that is another you. Somewhere out there in the soul space, this you left his world and stumbled on yours. That's you from another plane. That's what we're going it's with? Likely it was experiencing the same suffering as you. It's an alt timeline. I don't understand. Me neither, Rory. Fella, can you please explain what's going on here? She was just Pain doing that. Inevitable. Suffering is optional. I understand what you were feeling. This depression is unbearable. I can't take it anymore. The depression pain part is an unavoidable reality. But whether or not you can overcome it is up to you. You decide if you're going to keep going. Your sister is... I also home. played Omori. There's no changing that. But traveling the soul space is incredibly dangerous. And if you're not careful, you'll end up like him. You can't help but feel the pain. But you can get through the suffering. That will go away. Look, I know it's easy for me to say. I'm not the one whose sister is dead. But you have to understand that I am telling you the true reality of the situation. You're playing with some otherworldly dangers here. Is this the ocarina and no, the Majora's Mask sound? <laughs> he just keeps repeating that? Oh my god. Wait, Golden Alpaca's plot relevant? What is happening? Wait, what was this before they patched him into Beck Noir? I thought this was just a gag. Reality after reality. I find a similar scenario. Why are his legs so shapely? Playing a game they don't understand. No matter. As I have I can no longer pause time, the dialogue, by the way. I will remove your illicit presences. Soul Traveler. I sentence you to soul death. Shoutouts to God when the golden in this reality. No What's happening? 
I've lost the plot. We, we had an anti-suicide PSA, now Alex Yeek has been impaled by Guts Berserk with the Dragon Slayer Greatsword. And, and... It's just the most psychedelic series of images. Wait, I'm back. And it is also disappointing. Reality after reality, I find a similar scenario. Children. <laughs> this goes hard. Wait, but we just heard this. Stand. No matter. As I have time and time again, I will remove your illicit. This has begun to feel like a Homestuck flash. Starting with you. The paralleled one. But. Interesting. You shouldn't be here either, chance traveler. And you, stitched into reality's fabric for dramatic effect, playing the childhood mate. You don't belong. Perhaps the similarities between this scenario and the others are only surface level. Soul traveler, I sentence you to soul death. You will reside in this reality no more! You can tell this was added in response to complaints? I can't tell Jack shit! I have, don't know what's going on. This does feel like a Homestuck flash. I'm gonna have to rewatch it three times to, to even have the base level understanding of what just happened. Because we saw the same cutscene twice, but one of them, Alex, was killed by the Dragon Slayer, and then the other one, the... The other Rory, the sole survivor, was killed by the, the the Dragon Slayer. And I'm not sure what, why? I don't even know what the Golden Alpaca is. Um, let alone the, the other layer of the same cutscene happening twice with two different outcomes. And now you. How will you justify your continued For existence? fuck's sake, is he talking to me? I can't advance the text. Wait, we're still... Go on without me. He's dead. We're still doing a boss fight after all that. Um... See, explaining it to me in chat doesn't really accomplish anything, because I can't know that at the story, so it's either a spoiler or it's not useful information at this point. <laughs> Neither is a desirable thing to have in chat. Um, I don't- it, it, like, because I don't understand it now doesn't mean that I want to be made to understand it via external explanation. That's the game's job. Uh, if I'm not supposed to understand it yet, then that's- that's the way it is. Um, but for now, I really sure don't understand it yet. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, what do I even do in this context here? I guess, uh, use beatdown and see what happens. I like this guy's design a lot more when it wasn't fully visible. <laughs> he looks really strange from the front. This used to be an alpaca. Like, this guy's model was just a normal alpaca. Because that would have been way better. Just, I can just assume now. You're scripted to lose. Stop telling me things about the game, please. Um, I don't want to know this, okay? Like, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, like, you're, you're sort of spoiling stuff now, so cut it out. Let's see if you're scripted to lose with infinite mashing. How do you like that, Beck Noir? I mean, Beck Jean. The instrument is well and truly brandished. Oh, it's weak to keytars, that's something. Oh, 
Oh, it's summoning dudes. That's bad. Uh, you can't hit these guys, though, right? Like, they just don't take damage. Rory's just dead. Yeah, Rory's fine. He doesn't do damage anyway. He can stay dead. Um, he does have a health bar. Maybe it's like the, the scripted death and in inscription. Where you can win, but you just have to have like a really specific build. I have a healing song, right? That'll help. That's like XX. Oh. Square... Fuck! Okay, never mind. Uh... Okay, maybe just revive Rory after all. He's a useful tank. I have a million summoning salts. Oh, so that's not dialogue unique to... I disabled story mode. Right, I actually have to hit the targets now. Oh, so you can't actually dodge these attacks. It does seem like a, a scripted uh, loss in that case if you can't fully dodge. Well, Michael, it's all up to you, buddy. Keep up the DPS. Michael can solo it. I will defeat you, or my name isn't Soul Survivor. You can dodge the Soul Survivors. Oh, it's absorbing it. Oh, so much for being able to dodge. Summoning salt! Yes, exactly. Oh, did he heal from absorbing the souls? So you can just heal forever then. Let's see how long Michael can last here, arbitrarily. Feel my power, lame-ass human! I feel like they should have given the soul survivors maybe unique dialogue so they don't sound like cheesy 90s mascots. Yeah, Michael's fucking dead. You're not over, over soul death? What was that? Um, it's actually pretty uh, deeply integrated to the Elden Ring lore. It would be a spoiler to discuss it. Let's continue. I choose to continue to yeek. It's not a scripted death. You gotta win the fight. Okay. That's something. He has two attacks in one turn. That's frightening. He dies anyway, though. That's kind of bullshit. Alright, well Alex does good damage. Uh, maybe with like a actually taking this seriously you can win. Especially with infinite mashing. I wonder if I can just put him the fuck to sleep. I, he's gonna be immune to it, but I gotta try. Oh, if I cheat it's easy. <laughs> Did that... Is he asleep now? I'm gonna assume that he is and try to do a healing on Alex here. It's square first. There's more after that. Death is only after you beat. Oh, it's, it does the Xenoblade thing. You lose in the cutscene. We have to earn the right to lose in the cutscene. I see how it is, game. Alright, Michael's gonna dispense the summoning salts. That's the bit now, by the way. I just arbitrarily decided that it's gonna be a funny bit to pronounce it as summoning salt every single time now until the game ends. I hope you all like that. Um, so. Vela can banish those soul survivors, um, and that'll stop Beck Jean from healing, so I guess I'll try that. 
Well, Alex will do his... Oh, he doesn't have any PP. I was relying on the healing song to have uh, overflow healing into the PP, but it does not. That's too bad. Um... Yeah, let's try Banish. Uh, it'll appear in the Mind Dungeon. That sounds bad. Wait, that's a mini game? What do I do? Press X to attack. It becomes a fucking hack and slash? It's now a Zelda boss fight. Alright, I'm fighting Aghanim. Luckily, it's really easy. I win. For a long time. Alright. I'm looking forward to meeting that guy later. I forgot to get the silver arrow, no! The speedrun is dead. Alright. Rory, uh, tank, I guess. Michael still gets Michael. to have a turn, right? Yeah. I need some of that birch beer. Is this really how fast I have to mash to scroll faster? What a shame. You refuse to get over the pufferfish carrot? Wait, there's a pufferfish with a carrot in the background? I didn't notice that. Ah, uh, he's dead. <clears throat> oh, wait. He's actually fine. Oh, that was right on the edge. I should have got that. That was on the pixel. The border pixel. Alright. Play the beat down, Alex. Let's beat him. Thirty-six attacks. That's the damage we need. He's resistant too, and it still hits for fifty. Rory is indeed tanking like a Chad. Um, let's spam healing song on Rory here. I think it's a set. Fuck! It's a set inputs, but I still managed to screw it up because I'm just dumb. Uh, oopsie doopsie. Michael. So I think pacifism gives Rory a big defensive boost, which is why he actually didn't die during the last turn. Uh, well, Michael's free to just use a healing item though, so it's alright. The golden alpaca is indeed A-posing, you're not wrong. I would have liked it better, I think. It, it, knowing now what Golden Alpaca, what, what role it plays in the story, like if this was actually just an alpaca, it would be a lot more whimsical and less jarring. Um, like I could much more easily accept like an interdimensional deity as just a whimsical alpaca than whatever the fuck this thing is. All right, um, everyone say a prayer for my fucking tendons. Wait, it healed anyway. How did it heal despite the fact that I... I banished its soul? Okay, what if I can attack these now? I'm gonna try. Uh, close enough. Oh, you really can't hit them, so that was useless. All right, so I have to banish them, I assume. Get ready for a long time. You have a long time to get ready. Holy shit. I wonder if the Aghanim reference is intentional here. It does feel very similar to Aghanim and Zola, uh, Link to the Past. Yeah, it's, it's wearing leggings with underwear on top of wearing generic trainers. And also has like really, really like shapely thighs. Like, look at how curvy it is. That's ridiculous. The squats. Michael! 
All right, your job is to um, like drip feed Alex the birch soda. That's your role in life now, Michael. Thick thighs save lives. Um, I, maybe? There's probably some context in which they do. If JD had legs like that, he'd wear nothing but leggings too. I, I can't knock it. It's just a mad cause bad situation if you try to make fun of those thighs, I think. Alright. More thumb abuse. Health decreasing at all? Not really. Why was it dealing so much damage the first time I fought it? I felt like it was dealing way better damage. Okay, Vela hits like a truck, but... Um, what, what does the warning bar do? Actually, I, I just noticed that. What is that doing? Let's try protesting, see what happens. Kennedy was an inside job. Damn. It really looks like it's listening. That that pose it has on its face is very uncomfortable too. The uh, closed eyes and open mouth. Yo. I wonder if the golden alpaca is willing to hear Rory's out on his um conspiratorial views on American assassinations. You have to dodge the attacks until it turns red and you can run. Oh, I haven't tried running. Uh, I'll try it on someone whose turn is less valuable. He has a fucking lot of health, though. I'm, I'm cheating, by the way. Like, I have infinite slowdown. Uh, that was just a really bad go. What were other 90s conspiracy theories? I have no idea. Let's try to run. See what happens. What the fuck is this? It's circle to... Okay, you can't. I just don't think you can do it. I'm gonna interpret that as being that like you can't do it. The, the mini game is really weird about like... Sometimes it's just impossible and it doesn't really... Clearly communicate that it is impossible. What if I go for... I could just buff Vela, see if she she hits harder. Say cheese. It lasts for like one turn though, doesn't it? Like, it seemed really bad last time I used it. I am Soul Survivor. I have metal joints. So is he healing or what? I, I still don't know. Um, no more PP for Alex, unfortunately. Feel my power, lame ass humans. Oh, the warning bar went up, I see. All right, uh, big attack, Vela, don't fuck it up. How big will it go? It's 50 normally. The buff isn't that much. If it only lasts for one turn, that's not at all worth it. Look out for number one. Luckily, we're no longer taking appreciable damage. I'm not sure exactly what changed to cause that. Maybe Rory is just that good at tanking. Uh, let's I'm take a shitty photo so of the good. golden alpaca here. He's vomiting 
horrifically. Is the fight eternal? I don't know. It has a health bar. It just goes down rather slowly. Um, we need uh, to fix the PP situation here urgently. Um, especially for Vela, because she has to use beatdown next turn. Oh, the attack boost lasts longer than the, the defense boost. That's odd, but okay. I prefer it to the alternative. Pufferfish is in the song. I haven't heard that yet. Like that. Oh. 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 Like that, that pufferfish? I'm glad I bought all this birch beer. Yes, that one. I guess there, there's only really one option. Alex needs more PP. I should level that up. Alpaca's vomiting continuously, but there's so little damage, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, its damage is not at all unmanageable if you actually block it, and Rory's tanking. It's like 10 per turn. The bad photo is poison, yeah, but it doesn't do very much damage at all, seemingly. So I hope it comes with like a, a debuff of some sort. All right, let's do it. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Wait, only 29? What changed? Alex was hitting for 50 before. Were those all crits? I don't know. Um, the attack boost is over. Well, shit. We still have Vela. Vela! I've got your back! Um... Okay, try the beat down. Let's just see what happens. Oh shit, I missed it. Ooh, it, uh, it just teleports. Very cool. We got to see that animation. People are debating whether the music is any good. I don't mind this boss theme so far, but I'm not really listening to it because uh, I'm playing Yeek. Oh, that was on the pixel again. Why am I so good at hitting that pixel? It's actually eventually dying. 18 hits. New record. They should replace the boss with the carrot pepperfish. Why not? It would be funny, though. the first triangle I've seen from that attack. I'm actually worried about my thumb joint mashing that much. Um, I might have to develop a different technique. Bella. Uh, do we have any BLPs? Oh, holy water is PP refill. I didn't realize that. Um, that's quite good, actually. You're dreading the length of the final boss. Me too. I, I've become really bad at dodging. 
the soul survivor hits for two damage? What? Are they supposed to be scary? Oh, the warning bar is full. I better beat it this turn. I think I can actually though. Oh wait, but not if Alex has no PP. That's unfortunate. Maybe I can do it anyway. If I just cheat. Means that I can't get a perfect hit even by cheating. It's dead. I think I kill it. Yeah! We won! After two of us died in metaphysical cutscenes and also the anti-suicide PSA. Did you remember that? I've personally forgotten completely. You possess strength I didn't anticipate. My wounds are mortal. How? How did I not see it? It was already broken. You will not have it stolen from me again. Something, something. Oh, he, uh... They scaled down his X scale, but what increased his Y scale. What was that thing? Why did we have to kill it? And what is going on? Alex is asking the right questions at this point in time. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes while you and Rory talked in riddles and ignored my questions! Yeah, I know that feeling, Alex. This is insane! What is a soul survivor?! Calm down, Alex. I'll explain it now. I haven't been intentionally leaving you in the dark, so don't act like I'm some anime character. Uh... Is that what they do in anime? Oh, I am just... This is too much. Deep breaths, Alex. Michael's taking this better than you are. By now you've seen enough visual proof that what I am going to tell you isn't a lie. I need you to understand that I don't have all the answers. I can only say what I know to be true from my experiences. I get it. Spit it out already, Bella. What you just saw was a soul survivor or an entity. Both names are acceptable. The second is a bit non-specific. There is no Patrick Bateman, only an entity. These beings are a visual representation of a soul that has escaped from its body. You see, it is entirely possible for a human being to separate their soul from their body. Oh, this is Kingdom Hearts now. I understand suddenly. Boom. Okay, Kingdom Hearts. Easy. The uh, the, the soul survivors are the heartless, and uh, Rory's a nobody now. That's how it works, isn't it? In doing so, you leave behind your physical form, and more often... I have never played a Kingdom Hearts game. The separation of mind, or soul, if you will, from the body can only be achieved by accepting an existence of a non-physical nature. Oh, is that that ego death I always hear about from the psychedelic enthusiasts? A human usually stumbles on this facet of reality after undergoing a transformation of a grave nature. But first, case, we need to talk about parallel universes. Him ...towards exchanging his physical yeah. nature for a metaphysical one. Um, so yeah, Rory, uh, it's, uh, so he didn't literally, like, try to commit suicide, he just sort of, like, willed himself into metaphysical non-being, uh, in a, sounds vaguely Buddhist almost, I'm not really sure. This is where things are about to get strange, so please bear with me. She's literally, but here's where we talk about parallel universes. It's all right, then. I have a stupid idea. Hang on for a sec. Let's go. It's too loud. Sorry. There we go. As souls are shared by otherworldly versions of you, me, and everyone else. Um, oh, that's rather interesting. And sorry, uh, every time I want to interact with something on another tab, the game minimizes itself and shows my desktop, so I'm sort of having to flail around here a bit. Here we go. I think I finally got it right. 
our souls are shared by otherworldly versions of you, me, and everyone else. So you have one soul for all parallel parallel universes. Hmm. Okay. There is an Alex out there in another world who has the same soul but different life experiences. Is it the, literally the same soul? Like, is it um, is it like a pass by reference variable, or is it just an identical soul that is actually different? Like, if you changed one, would it change the other? That's what I'm, I want to know. A soul survivor is a soul that has left his physical form as well as his reality and entered into a world where a physical version of his or her soul already exists. Uh, right. So it sounds like they're they're passed by value. There are multiple independent copies of the same identical soul, so you can have duplicates. Normally, when you abandon your physical form, you become an omnipotent entity who exists just in their own reality. You can't return to your body once you've left it behind. Makes sense. Soul survivors are souls whose realities have been destroyed, and they manage to leave their reality in hope of finding a physical form. So it's like a second step? Once you've become a transcendent uh, soul being, then you have to have your reality destroyed and find a new dimension? Okay. So that being right there is Rory. A different Rory. One whose reality Isn't that basically what a Buddha is? It's, it sounds vaguely Buddhist, yeah. Physical reality to exist in. But, so, what I don't understand yet is whether your reality being destroyed happens before or after you become a soul. Because it sounds like you can become a soul and then you get put into a pocket dimension. And so reality being destroyed refers to that pocket dimension, I assume? But I'm not sure what destroys that. But how do you know all this? Because... I have left my physical body, sir. Okay, the, the fucking title screen music is getting old. Um... Explore the soul space and come to understand the nature of the universe. Oh, that's nice. Like, I'm picturing this on her Tinder bio. Would destroy- would- a world-destroying version of a person would destroy reality. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, Le Vela has leveled up Encyclopedia to max. Why- specifying surfed is, is kind of funny. Because now I'm picturing um, Albrecht from the Ring game uh, just surfing into the distance after delivering some bangers. Uh, nature of the Universe. Okay, so Vela just knows this shit because she's a spirit traveler. But you have a physical form. How did you return to your body when you say it isn't possible? Good question, Alex. This is not my reality, Alex. There was another me here, and she left. Oh? I was able to take her physical space because her soul had already left this world. Oh my god! Does this ever happen in Kingdom Hearts? Probably. As soon as you introduce, like, detachable souls and bodies, the, the lore just sort of attracts toward a fixed point of Kingdom Hearts. Like, even Undertale kind of does that. Um, so it's it's no wonder why it gets brought up by like Jaru and stuff sometimes. Does this happen in Kingdom Hearts? Everything happens. Any possible thing you can imagine happening with detachable souls and bodies happens in Kingdom Hearts. That is all that happens. You've heard there's Disney characters in the games? No, irrelevant. It's just souls and shit. This is just like Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah. And what is the soul space? Anything that's not Yeekville, Alex. The soul space is... How do I explain this? Okay. <laughs> Imagine a ring. In this ring is right. a series of worlds. Yeah. When one world is destroyed, the soul space shrinks and the ring gets smaller. That's very strange. That implies there's a finite number of worlds and the ring will eventually just shrink to a point? When a soul leaves their location in the soul space, another soul of the same origin, like another me, can take its place and regain physical form. Okay. Understood. This is crazy. How did you figure all this out? What was the ring metaphor for? Like, how is that relevant? That's personal. 
Look, <laughs> what leads people to find the soul space is different for each person, and I'm not going to share that with you. <laughs> it's still personal. You just told us you were like an interdimensional traveler, and you're like, nah, that's still off limits. This is all fine and shit, but it doesn't bring my sister back. Soul space, minds, realities, all that shit. Who even cares? Rory is also yeeking because he cannot resurrect his sister yet. Rory, it's okay. Take a deep breath with me. <laughs> Michael's just really vibing, yeah. <laughs> Michael, I just noticed him. He just stand in the back idling. It's like, what the fuck? What am I doing here? Cut it with the deep breaths. This isn't okay. This is not okay. Well, let's get out of this sewer. I can explain this better in the fresh air. Say the line, Alex? Does Alex have a funny line? Oh, we're back to this bullshit. We God hear damn it. A faint electrical crackling, and a hint of life crosses behind the eyes of the sleeping figure. Yeah. But as soon as it appears, it fades imperceptibly to a flicker. God damn we it. We confer on our thoughts on the machine and decide that there is activity inside of its circuit. Putting this confusing we bullshit after the confusing bullshit was not the best pacing decision. As logic and science dictate that this is only an emulation of life. This creature has no feelings, no desires, no wants. Chat can't tell if the artists had fun or were in a crunch. The following week or so, we're it's a, another week skip. Don't skip a week after the bullshit, the please. Buzzed in my ears, like a bee hovering around my head. A bee named Buzz Buzz, perhaps. It was waiting to sting, waiting to have its full impact. From my bedroom window, you could see blooming green leaves of summer popping up here and there on the rolling suburban hills. Their branches reaching up to the sky like magic ropes. Magic ropes. I hadn't spoken with Michael, Vela, or Rory in almost eight days. You haven't? Why? That, that's a really bad place for a time skip. It's just like, at the climax, everything happens at once. And there's no, like, denouement. Like, it's not like you get to walk back with the party and gradually de-escalate. It just goes from a million miles an hour, like, homestuck cascade flash to an info dump and then back to Alex, like, heeking out in his bedroom. That's so strange. He's just jacking off and playing Earthbound. The default resting state of Alex Yeek, yeah. They cut out that scene? What scene? Was there another scene and then they cut it out? This is why I wanted to play the 1.0 version, but they don't let you anymore. God damn it. I have to sit here and listen to chat saying, Oh, they made this change. They did this change. Fucking hell, I wanted the original version. Oh, that the line was, Nobody cares about your dead sister? Uh, I have actually heard of that line. I'm, I can picture where it would go, so I guess it's okay, but... Again, I'm really sad that I can't play the original version where all the memes come from. Michael was stuck in his house, pretending to study for finals. And taking her cue from the other women in my life, Bella vanished. I'd gone Block. to Franklin Arcade hoping to see her each day, but she wasn't around. She can literally travel between dimensions. Maybe she just, I don't know, went into cyberspace or something. I spoke with her manager, the Korean man, about Bella and Sammy. Or she went to and Oregon very little information. for a vacation. She said she needed to take some time off, so I gave it to her. Lots of help, thank you. See you later, jackass. Uh, yeah. I hadn't spoken with Rory since that night either. As soon as we got out, Bella went into depth on her soul survivors and metaphysics. Then he ran off saying he needed to clear his head. Wait, we skipped a further info dump? Please, game, don't, don't skip... Like, don't say there was an off-screen info dump. Um, Alex specifies Korea. It's almost a bit at this point. A a Alex's obsession with whether or not people are Korean. It it it's... A I almost give it a pass. It's just like a bit. Shit. Oh, no, we're flashing back okay, to the info dump? No, this is even worse. What? Since a soul survivor has spent a lot of time down here, it's likely we're going to find some very strange things. Let's call them, <laughs> um, breaks in reality. This, the pacing here is like non-Euclidean. The pacing here is like incredibly bad. 
why was the whole segment of, of Alex in his bedroom even necessary? Like, if they were gonna do an info dump, just do it all at once. I was already receiving the info dump. Or, or do it much later. Don't randomly flash forward, do um, the random postmodern stage play scene, and then go back to the info dump. It's just like Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace, says Outsin. Oh, yeah. It's the same music, too. It's gone back to the same fucking music. Um, that's the second time I've referenced the uh, the One Punch Man Genos' backstory gag. Like, You may have seen some before, so relax. Don't freak out if you see them. Our goal is to get outside where we can talk safely. This part of the conversation needs the context of Vela being on secret vacation. Yeah, I don't see why it does. We're, no, it's a gameplay segment. We have to actually walk out of the sewers after a flash forward of one week in which we know nothing happens. So I know that all is going to happen is I leave the sewer and, and I get another info dump and we go back to a week in, the, in advance. It would be almost interesting if it flashed forward a week and Alex was like, a lot of shit happened, but I won't go into the details because you're going to play through that in five seconds. But he specifically said that nothing happened in that week, so... We really are just here to tread water until we flash back to the future again and the game resumes. Oh, we could still get the line, maybe? What will you do? I guess I'll save the game. I don't know. Save your data. Call again any time. Oh boy. Um, which way did I come in? I think this is back to the dungeon? Nope. I, I came in sideways, apparently. 500 big ones from defeating the golden alpaca. Is this song clipping or is it supposed to sound like that? It sounds kind of like it's clipping. This is like in, in the Discord server the last week, um, I did a couple watch parties for Jar's new uh, eight hour long Deltarune soundtrack review slash tier list um, and uh, he kept bringing this thing up which some tracks have what he described as a, a flickering candle flame um, and he got really into like dissecting what the possible relationship between these songs could be and um, <laughs> I had a well I suspected that it was just like um, the audio peaking and distorting itself but then Toffee Bun was in chat and they said that it was um, just bit crushing. No, that that wasn't Toffee. That was uh, Eden. Um, that it was just bit crushing artifacts. <laughs> so we had um, a whole segment of that Jaru video was just him speculating about the the deep intrinsic meaning of uh, Toby Fox's um, audio plugins fucking up and introducing artifacting. Um, the Gengar. Why why would I fight that Gengar? It's not blocking anything. I don't want to fight the fucking Gengar. Okay. Can I bypass this guy somehow? Why is it back there? All right. Well, this fucking dude is still here. Didn't we kill you? How many times will I die? That's the practice Gengar. This is the real Gengar. Well, it's also a practice Gengar because I bypassed it. Date the Gengar. You're bored of the alpaca guy. Yeah, I know. The uh, like, of all the things not to explain, the fucking deviant art alpaca. There, there was too many layers of what the fuck is happening in that scene for like any of it to really have meaning. Like, after a certain point, your brain just turns off and stops accepting new information. And like the golden alpaca with like. I still don't know what those two scenes were that played back to back, where Alex died, then had a psychic break, and then someone else died, but then they didn't die, and then we had a battle. Like, I thought that was leading into some really, like, story-defining thing, where, like, 
we'd have to like choose which reality to continue in like one of the characters would be dead in each reality and we'd have to like choose which one was the canon timeline or some homestuck bullshit like that but it just stopped mattering immediately and turned into a boss fight so it, it just had no impact and i don't know what it was for America, why must you call me? I shouldn't even try to impersonate the uh, <laughs> bestial clergyman. I can't do the voice. Oh, good. There's a bunch of f fucking poo. Just what I wanted to see. This really cheers me up. Well, I can try LP toss maybe and see what happens. Ew. They don't seem to stop when you hit them. Oh, that's pretty good against ones that's weak too. Oh, if there's fighting in this game, yeah. Uh, the cutscene music is still playing, by the way. Very strange use of music in this game sometimes. Like, st music keeps playing way after the context is gone. Um... Can I just swap to uh, Michael's turn so we can finish them off? I can't. What does this do if I can't select anyone else? Um, look, two bucks from Algie Satchel. Donations, really? Wow. Thank you, Algie Satchel. Um, good to see you're back for these streams. Today I found out there's a game called Undertale 2. Is that Revenge of the Killer Robots? Char Bomber always talks about that, and I still don't really know what it is. But thanks. That's a fan game, yeah. Every time LP Toss hits across the entire game, it does more damage. What? Ex what? Are you serious? Why on earth would it work like that? That's the, um, the Ouroboros mechanic from Inscription. But that was supposed to be weird and broken in that game. Why is that how it works? That can't be right. It's a surprisingly long fan game that starts off funny and ends up a Toho fanfiction. Sounds great. Um, if that's the case, and it's broken, then I guess I'll break the game, because that sounds like a good time. Um, I have no idea why they would make it like that, though. That makes no sense. That is indeed a poo. Uh, can I just skip the turn? Maybe the animation will be slower if I... No, the animation is equally slow in either case. Didn't even finish it. That's yeah, something, uh... I don't know, I... <laughs> I find weird excuse to talk about epic battle fantasy, despite no one else in the universe having played that game. I really like that game's turn-based battles because they give you an option to switch freely between the turn order at any time. Like, there's no penalty. You take your turns in whatever order you want. Um, which is surprisingly, not surprisingly, opens up a whole bunch of tactical depth. Because there's not an arbitrary restriction of like, well, this character has to act so first. You can set up whatever combos out. you want. I'm almost there. This is a joke, I guess. Oh, oh, camera. Showed it to the one room like this in Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga after the plumbing segment. Someone will get that reference, maybe. Oh, he's... he's Sans. Yeah, you can't get him in the same frame, probably. The exit... should be here. Somewhere. The viewership of the stream is steadily going upward. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It started off at like 30 and now it's up to 80. Um, Easter. Easter weirdness. I'm going to chalk it up to that. Oh. 
The tracks are broken. He can jump now! He learned to jump. Fucking hell, Alex. Very cool. There's a Gengar blocking the chest. Can I cheese it with the cat? I gotta try. There should at least be a different model of chest to show that you can't cheese it with the cat. That would be nice. Um, no, I, d I don't care. Character development. You can jump now. Yeah. Uh, a chessboard. Wow, it is just like Homestuck! That's cursed, actually, doing the Joel impression but referencing Homestuck. <laughs> it feels wrong. Uh, can I not clamber up on any of these? I'm just stuck in the kitty pen here. Oh, it's Ashirian. Oh, it's it's funny in Ash. I get it. Um, oh wait, I'm behind it. Well, that's really weird. It's intentionally weird, clearly, but it's still very weird. Um, what, there's like a moving dude on top of there. He's wiggling around. Um, weird, okay. I can't get up there. Alex can jump. That doesn't mean he has suddenly a six-foot vertical. He doesn't know how to clamber yet. That's more advanced on the skull tree. Oh, that's how you get up, obviously. You just loop around all reality and come back. Um, who is the... Uh, he has some sort of, like, Wi-Fi router as a head. Oh, it's a VCR. That makes more sense. Because it's the 90s. Protofan. VHS. That's the whole character? That's, that's what this room is for? It's a man who says VHS? And stands like a, a fucking, uh, the way all those like anime girls are illustrated. Is that this whole room? Is for VHS man. Is there anything else? It is just VHS man, I think. Can I jump in the Mario pipe? No. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm stuck. Chad, I'm stuck. I'm soft locked. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Wait, the last save point was an hour ago. Wait, I'm, I'm actually stuck. Ah. Uh, is there a, a bailout in the menu? I've become home stuck. Oh, the panda. Try the panda. Okay, good idea. Um, no. Will it sort of weirdly clip me out if I spawn it in the right place? I have to become a speedrunner now. Oh, he falls up into the void. No, okay. That's doing something. Not much, though. Hmm. Use no clip. <laughs> Ow. That, yeah, the panda is very much vibrating with motion. Bomb. I don't... Do I have bombs? I don't think this thing has, like, a hitbox. It actually freezes you in place. It's rewind time. This isn't an emulator. Um... I think I'm fucked. Yeah, do a bomb hover. Is there a no clip option? I maybe. Uh, it's not one of those options. Oh fuck! I don't want to be in this menu. Hint. Find a way out of the sewer. That's the hint. Uh, okay. I'm super fucked. Exit, you're fucked. Yeah, okay. How do I even quit to menu? I don't see an option for that. 
Oh, there it is. Uh, rip. I don't even know where the last save point was. It may have been before the fucking boss for all I know. It's after. Okay, thank god. Thank god I saved there. That's not too bad, actually. Five hundred buckaroonies. So, uh, note to self, don't uh, go into that room again for any reason. I'm just gonna speed run the dungeon now. Look at me go. I was really th thinking that I have to fight the boss again, which would have broken my spirit completely. This guy moved out of the way before. What's he doing now? Okay, here we go. His uh, pathfinding is buggy, so you can just do that. Ignore the uh, alpaca. Ignore the feces. Oh, Otsun keeps asking me to rotate the saves, and I keep forgetting to do it. I will if I remember. One day. Um, it's a crossroads. Where did I go before? I think this is the actual exit. We have Sonic bumpers now? Why not? Or the Undertale vents, maybe? Oh, it's some sort of... Uh, I don't know what that is. A pawn shop. Dude. Yeek. Deviation perspective. One, maybe. Wrong soul requiem. Who the fuck is DC Douglas? Is that just the voice actor? Pawn shop wants silver. I don't got that, so I guess I'm going back. Oh, that's what that one does. Um, oh, it's a bit... How do I get it to... Can I? I don't think it'll let me go to the one on the left there. Did I get 500 bucks in the chest? Yes. Isn't he Wesker's VA? Oh god. Chris, yes, Ouroboros, Chris. I only know that voice, by the way, from Joel doing impressions of it. I have never heard it in game myself ever. Oh, yeah, logically that's how it would work. Are you fucking kidding me? You give me the Zelda grass and you can't even cut it with the hair tentacle. That is unforgivable. Look at him go. Did I not see it? You said that already. It was already broken. Uh, this this would have been a much more pleasant segment if it had come before the fucking flash forward. This is exactly what I was talking about with the the denouement, like bring down the action level gradually here. See, like, by the time I had walked out of the dungeon, I would have been ready for the flash forward and, like, Alex to narrate some more, but because it happened in the wrong order, it just feels incredibly strange. Um. Okay, what do I do here? We have monoliths. They have no indie game language runes to decipher. There's. Oh, there's a chest behind it, which I, I grabbed through the monolith. Alright, so now I can give the silver to the pawn shop. That makes sense. The, the alpaca is supposed to look like a deviant Ardocia. I think that's the idea. It, it is not surprising that your 14-year-old Sonic persona was better than it. Um, although I, I keep calling it uh, Beck Noir, because that really really does just look like Beck Noir. Um, oh. They gave me a floppy disk. Very cool. Will this let me save the game? Oh, now I give this to the VHS man. It's a trading quest for some fucking reason. Instead of just being able to walk, you know, backward out of the sewers the way I came in, like a rational human being. Beck Noir is from Homestuck, yes. Beck, hey. It's short for Becky. 
VHS man is blasting off again. Just like the statues in Zelda that do that. Oh, I, I wanted to sit on the throne. Fuck me, man. It sure hits you with the surrealism when it feels like it. Um, we've become two-dimensional. Can I glitch and fall off the stairs here? That would be funny. Uh, the, the collision's pretty tight. Okay. Where am I? Is this a reality break that Vela was talking about half an hour ago and I've forgotten? This may be a reality break. Uh, the floor is an illusion. Do I have to fight these guys or what are they doing here? Is that a staircase? I don't know. It's the Triforce. Ooh. The Delta Rune is over there. Um, hello, sir. This is a stray from Ultra Kill. The fourth entity! Oh no! The game was targeted. It's targeting me. There's been someone in my Discord called this, I think, for a long time, and I've just. I don't know if it's a reference to this or my own video at this point. Reality's tearing at the seams. Every yeek is personalized. I got a personalized uh, letter from my bank the other day, which was kind of trippy, because usually you see that stuff on websites and you're used to it, but this was a letter, which was like, with your new credit card, you'll be able to spend your super bank points on, uh, and it was just a list of the, the only three things I ever spend fucking money on. Which are like groceries and Steam games. <laughs> so it was like very clearly just reading off my transaction history. It was kind of funny. I am unclean. I am unkind. I am a mortal fool who fell for the promises of immortality by means of the woman. What does that mean, sir? Truly, though, it was the draw of immortality that pulled me in. And now he hates me. Who is he? Kill me. Suddenly surreal. Suddenly like fucking Yumi Nikki or something is, is happening. If I take you to see V1, will, will he kill you and then I can progress? Oh. Subscribe to our deluxe plan. You'll be able to afford five more copies of Yeek, the postmodern RPG. Oh, it's God, of course. Um, God sounds like uh, Shigesato Itoi. Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabachanti, sa Sabachtan, chan, sa Sabachtani, Sabachtani, I'm gonna go with. Oh, that wasn't a cutscene. He was just talking. God? Hello, God? Is God a soul survivor or is that just God and it's different? I don't know. I'll never know. We're back! Hey, Look at- Oh, well, yeah, we made it out of the sewers. Round of applause, everyone. All we had to do is fucking meet God. The text felt like fake Asian language. It, it could have easily been the name of a Hindu deity, and I just don't know. Um, this looks like it could have gone on for a while. I'm going to let the characters just sort of narrate while I eat some sandwiches in the background. She really is gone, isn't she? What the hell am I going to do? You guys realize how messed up all this is? My 12-year-old sister killed herself. She died right here! Right where we're standing! Hey, dude, cool it with that! No one cares about your sister right now! We almost just died ourselves! It's still in the game! They didn't patch it out! Yay! I just wanted to acknowledge that I'm still eating a sandwich. Sorry. Alex! What is wrong with you? How can you be so selfish? 
You're an asshole, Alex. I thought you came to help me. Yeah, back when you didn't lie to us. You realize you've been leading us on this whole time about your sister? You acted like this was connected to Sammy. I... <sighs> Both of you, try and calm down. Alex, leave Rory alone. That's uncalled for. And Rory, breathe with me. In, out. Yeah, just like that. Oh, we're in the Alex zone now. For some reason, reality has just gone out the window. It's just like whatever whatever the game wants us to see, we see now. There is no longer a an actual space that the characters inhabit or progress through. It's just like stuff. It's very postmodern. <laughs> Fucking chat. Um, are these guys also Alex? We'll never know. Alex has to reflect and realize he said a bad thing. This was added recently. Really? This is patched in. Fucking, they're, they're George Lucasing the game at this point, it sounds like. Um, because this is not helping the pacing problems. Hello, sir. Why did you just say that to Rory? That's... oh. The Alex I know would have never acted this way. Yeah, this did not need to be a big moment. Like, the line was... stupid, but it pretty clearly characterizes Alex, and it's... I don't know. Man, school really changed you. Alex... Is that three or lull? It wasn't school that changed you. Just think about it, dude. Evangelion without good pacing. That's a pretty good way to describe it. Like the last two episodes of Evangelion. It... Yeah, why are you being such a dick, Alex? Seriously, man, keep it together. I know you got scared because we almost died down there, but can't you see that Rory is hurt? His sister freaking killed herself. We're doing this. All right. How long does this go on? Get you, dude. You know full well that you're overreacting, but you just won't back down. Will it kill you to say you're sorry? Seriously, just say you're sorry. Was this? This is fascinating. If this was patched in, because like if this, if I didn't know that this was patched in, it would be weird. But the fact that they wrote the scene to not have this and then decided that it would be an improvement to include this retroactively is utterly baffling. But I only have one person in chat to go off of who said that this was patched in, so I'm not even sure. There's a lot of, like, weird mystery about, like, how much of this game existed at launch and how much they changed later, and I, I don't know any of it. You know, you're really gonna regret this once that hot head of yours has cooled it. Bella's not ever going to go on a date with you, and Michael's going to find better friends in college. Because, here's the thing, if they made the scene to include this from the get-go, then that comment was just a segue into this, which is supposed to be a character moment. If this was not planned, then they were inserting a random character moment that wasn't originally supposed to happen in response to a line of dialogue they just wrote for no real reason. Like... At making something into a big character moment that wasn't intended to be is so strange. Oh, this guy's now talking to me. Seriously, just stop being such a loser. I think Bella thinks you're a stuck-up rich kid who's never known real-world problems in his life. <laughs> the takeaway. Don't tell people you don't care about their sister is dead because girls won't fuck you then. <laughs> Where are there two thrones? What does that represent, postmodernly? I think the same thing, actually. Okay, so now you're going back to reality. Are you ready to back down? Fuck, yes. Just let me go back. I want to say I'm sorry. I just... I don't know if I can. There's always time to say you're sorry, right? 
do you expect me to remain calm with all this crazy shit going on around us? This is turning an offhand line into a major character moment based on player reaction. It probably seemed way more substantial to the devs based on the reaction. That is so fucking weird, dude, because like, yeah, this is- that's a weird line and it's worthy of being memed on. But that's also like, it didn't need to be broken down. That was not the solution, is what I'm trying to say. Like, the solution was not to explain to the player base that the devs know that Alex is an asshole. I think, like, a reasonable player could intuit that if they're not completely um, taking the game in bad faith. But it's, it's just so weird. That's such a weird way to address it. I'm just gonna keep repeating that, it's so weird, like I don't have anything else to say. Just because you're cool with soul survivors and astral projection or whatever the hell you've been on about, doesn't mean everyone else is! Alex! Shut up! Stop it! This isn't all about you, you know! I... <sighs> Fine. Whatever. You said that this isn't about Sammy, but don't you think there is a connection? Don't you realize Sammy was probably taken by one of those soul creeps? Chad is now saying this was in the original release. I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know if chat's just echoing the rest of chat, or if chat actually knows. Because enough people were acting like this was patched in that I thought it was true, but now everyone's saying it wasn't patched in. Which... <laughs> I have to, like, <laughs> retcon my commentary and reaction to it in that case. So if, okay, if it wasn't patched in, then it's, um, it's, it's still weird and awkward, but it makes sense that they were actually trying to set up, like, this scene is an excuse to have Alex's inner monologue there. So it's still weird pacing-wise, but it, it actually makes sense, uh, once again. No, that's not right. Th that isn't how this works. I actually missed what he said there, shit. Soul survivors wouldn't take someone like that. They have no interest in such things. <laughs> They've transcended things like kidnapping or anger or any other motivation for that. Transcending? What does that even mean? It's a common word, Alex. Please, is she gonna define it? If she defines the word, I swear to God. They see the universe for okay, what good. it is. They see how temporary our worldly wants and desires are. Again with the Buddhism. There is nothing they can gain from taking a living being. It's likely that Sammy herself has simply left this reality. By dying, I thought we established that. Left? Left the reality? You think oh, she Sammy. left Never mind. body or whatever? Sammy left, okay. So th is this making sense now? Like, we, we know that you can leave your body and become like a disembodied soul in a pocket dimension. Is that what we went into when we first saw Sammy? Was that her personalized pocket dimension? That would kind of make sense. Buddha played the game under the tree and that's how he became enlightened. This is supposed to be an Easter Sunday stream, but it's really like the Buddhist Easter Sunday. I don't know if Buddhists have an equivalent holiday. Or if they have holidays at all, really. I don't know. Then you obviously weren't listening when I said she was taken by two of those soul survivors! You weren't there when she was screaming for them not to take her again! She said move again. That was the actual, uh... That's a peculiar way to phrase it that I sort of stuck out to me. She said, I pr you promised you wouldn't move me again. Okay, give me a second to think. I'm sure I can explain it. Look, guys, I'll see you around. This is seriously the last time I hang out with people I met on the internet. Good plan, Rory. Wait! Come back! Oh, Villa doesn't want him Rory! to. Rory! Great, Alex. Now look what you did. Hey, oh. this isn't my fault. Don't blame that on me. He's the one who lied to us. Mel should go back to studying, this will give them brain damage. By the way, Mel, while you're in chat, I, I started reading Witch Hat Atelier last night. I did it. I actually read the manga slightly. <laughs> you only have yourself to blame. Dude! He was obviously just hurting. Just needed someone to reach out to. Yeah, I know the vibe. Could you have said exactly what was going on? 
Even hiding behind a computer. You can't help but think what people think of you. You can't help but think what people think of you. It, let me... Even hiding behind... Could you have said exactly what was going on? Even hiding behind a computer, you can't help but think what people think of you. I'm not sure what exactly these two sentences mean together. Alex, you need to clear your head. Michael, you go back home with Alex. I'm gonna go figure some things out. I'll be in touch when I do. The song is nice, yeah. The, um... Yeah, the characters could have used more talk sprites. That's part of the reason it's so comical is because they only have, like, completely neutral and flipping the fuck out as their two states. There's no, like, really intermediate uh, frames there. Um, and considering, like, having character portraits is a pretty relatively minor sort of asset production cost in terms of the development of the whole game, I think they really could have gone, uh, put more effort into that department, even if it meant, you know, sacrificing something else because it's so important you're going to be staring at them so much in the meantime try not to be such a jerk to your friends hey that kid isn't my friend <laughs> not now he ain't alex cool it man you're missing the point michael invented the internet no alex's mom invented the internet michael only invented 4chan it's supposed to only have a few frames. Well, it's I, I'm not mean like animation frames. I mean like more sprites. Like they're PNG tubers with more sprites of um, like dialogue sprites okay. than Alex does. Maybe I blew up at Rory. Does Michael have a yeeking out sprite? Uh, we haven't seen it. I, I don't think. Maybe he didn't deserve <clears throat> that abuse. I'll admit that much. Are we? A week forward now, or is this like still within the flashback from the flash forward? I'm scared. So many odd things were happening around me, and I didn't handle it very well. First, I met Sammy, then I lost Sammy, and then I met Rory, who had lost Carrie. It's unclear how these two are related. For a moment, I considered saying we were alike, but oh, I, I even have to remind myself that I didn't really know Sammy. We met only once, but still. I can't get her off my mind. Michael doesn't have enough lines to make it worth throwing him a yeek sprite. <laughs> he kind of doesn't. Like, Michael really doesn't have any involvement with the story anywhere, it seems. Why does Alex have a whole thing where he calls himself out in his mind and proceeds to act the same way? I think that is supposed to be the point of it, is that, like, he has a whole inner monologue about, like, he knows what the right thing to do is, but just doesn't with some block, which is, like, theoretically insight into his character. It's just a very strange way to convey it. Okay, so what's troubling you, Alex? Oh, the panda's back. Good. How could you tell something's troubling me? You were doing the pinching the bridge of your nose pose in the dialogue box. That's how you know. You're making your I'm thinking See? Voice. Panda's on the same wave wavelength as me. Mainly, I'm thinking about what Vela said about detaching your soul from your body or whatever. That is worth thinking about. She seemed convinced that Sammy had done that, but somehow that just feels wrong. Is there a deeper layer to this? You just got told about like, uh, tr like spirit, e ego, death, and transcending your soul to different planes of reality. And you're like, that's not quite the vibe I was getting. This is different. That's not quite what I was picking up from Sammy's whole deal, you know? Sammy was taken by something. She struggled, and then she tried to fight them off. Mm. It doesn't seem like she willed her mind to separate from her body. But it, her mind was already separated at that point. That's the interpretation that I had formed anyway. It was that, like, by the time we found Sammy, she was already, like, a soul? But maybe maybe souls really only do look like those weird, um, the star men-looking dudes. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually how it works, but mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Ever since then, I've just had this terrible dark gloom following me. Is Sammy the sister or the abandoned factory lady? The factory one. Um, the sister was Carrie. Is this what happened to Des? Honestly, <laughs> it may be something in the same ballpark. Not the same plot mechanics, but kind of the same narrative role. 
Almost. I could picture it being that way. No matter what I do, I can't shake this feeling. New theory just dropped. Des um, astral, uh, astral projected. That's what I was trying to think of. That's the term. Two buccarinos from Algae Satchel. Uh, I didn't watch the first stream, so I'm so confused. Um, there's not really... It's confusing either way. Like, Basically, Alex ran into a factory because he was chasing a cat, and he encountered a weird metaphysical realm inside, which he didn't seem to find was all that strange or didn't comment on anyway. And then inside that was a girl named Sammy, who he was going to, like, take to the outside, I guess. But then she got sucked out of an elevator by the, the soul entities, the soul survivors. Um, and he's been looking for her since, and he's met a couple other dudes in town that are also helping him search. Mainly by waiting for 4chan posts about paranormal sightings to trickle in from their computer. And it's, it's bizarre, whatever way you look at it. Um... And that Rory kid was the last lead they had, and they fought, they went to a different town and met with him, but it turns out that he didn't know about Sammy, he was just... had his own independent supernatural bullshit about his dead sister, and so now we're just... we've, we've gone back to square one here. Th that's like a less ranty plot summary. I gave a full rant last stream. I just feel like all my focus has been on the wrong thing all this time. Um, I'm not sure what the fuck the focus has been on, Alex. The focus has been kind of all over the place, and I don't, I don't think it's your fault, that's more the game developers. I feel like Michael's excitement over finding the sole survivors made me forget about finding Sammy. The game does seem to be trying to drive home that sort of message a bit ham-fistedly about, like, the, the thrill of the supernatural aspect is detracting from the actual need to find Sammy, which was the case in the IRL case that Sammy is based on because that became a bunch of conspiracy theories about how Sammy died and the human element was lost. I, th I assume that's what they're going for. That pisses me off. We should be out there looking for her. It's, but it's, it's just a bit ham-fisted, I think. Where do you think you'd look for her? Do you really even know anything about her? Has Panda's voice changed? I feel like it's different. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'll... Have you heard the Toby Fox song yet? I don't know what it is. Um... I'm gonna leave that as like a, what do you call it? Like, it'll keep us on our toes. Like if anyone gets too into the groove of just trashing the music, you could accidentally end up dissing a Toby Fox song without realizing it. So we have to remain vigilant, like actually listen to the music and decide whether it's Toby Fox or not. Alex, I'm home. Oh, is mom I'm real? Do we get to see Alex's mom? We'll resume this conversation later. Oh yeah. I'm assuming the panda is supposed to just be his, like, internal monologue externalized, uh, which is fine, that makes sense, but, um, in that case, why did they have a separate way to externalize his internal monologue with the Council of Yeek Elders? <laughs> they could have just used panda again, they, they already established that as a motif. Can I go in the bathroom now? That's the bathroom. Alex is never going to change his shirt. This is where the mother inspiration comes in. <laughs> the fact that there is a mother. Yeah, that's kind of what I pictured. Hey, what's up? You look different. That's not a very mom kind of voice acting, but oh well. Did you get taller? Alex's thoughts are too complex to only have one exposition <laughs> instrument. Good. She's hot though, says Mel. <laughs> Uh, sure, yeah. Always getting taller. Something, something redheads. I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not even going to pretend to have any weird tropey lines about redheads. Doesn't Geralt have one? Uh, I don't know, Mom. How was work? Or is that just from Joseph Anderson's Witcher review and I've misremembered it? How was work, Mom? Is this the first they've spoken since Alex got back? I guess he's kind of out of it. No, wait, it's been weeks. So there must have been like an off-screen meeting between them, because th it's been three fucking weeks since the game started. And, uh... I don't know. Terrible. I've slept at the office for the past few weeks. Hmm. I smell, I need a shower, and I don't even work in fast food anymore. 
yeah, the, the voice actor is not really working for this character, I think, but um, I think they heard some, like, YouTubers, people said, like, kind of amateurs, so I don't want to, I won't mention it again after this, I guess. How's the project coming? Everything done? Yeah, it's done. Alex, would you mind sitting down for a bit? I need to talk to you about something serious. What's wrong? Alex, it's... Well, basically, they let everyone go at work. They fired everyone in my department. So, looks like I'm out of work for a while. Holy crap! Can they do that? Weren't you, like, the project lead? How can they fire you when you're the boss? Well, everyone has a boss, Alex. But it's going to be okay. Just things are going to be tight for a while. But don't we have savings? Like, you have money, right? Yeah, I have a bit. I spent most of it on your last semester. Wait, if they... If you get fired from um, a salaried position like that, I thought they had to, like, pay you out. To some degree. Like, I'm not sure the specifics from company to company, but... I thought that would be a more typical scenario for like um, a long time employee like this to be laid off. You'd have to have like a year's salary in advance or something. I don't really know though. But I had a college fund. I should have been separate from your unemployment fund. Ar 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 Alex, the 2007 housing crisis is coming and we're going to die. Goody. Well, Alex has 500 bucks from killing the alpaca, so it'll be fine. Well, Alex, it was! But I had budgeted for you and your sister to spend only four years at college! Oh, he said he took a few semesters longer. How many semesters longer, Alex? Was it a seven-year degree? You graduated in five oh. and a quarter. That to be money fair, had to come from somewhere. That is exactly how many semesters it took me to finish my program, but... My program also wasn't really designed to be finished in four years. It was sort of like a, a double major type thing. So what do we do? Well, Mr. Bachelor's degree, how about you get a job? The final boss of the game, Alex Yeek, has to get a job. I hope we do actually get a job and it's like Persona. We, we just go work at like the local Chinese restaurant or something. I paid a lot of money for that fancy degree of yours. Doesn't have to be today. But, but it will have to be tomorrow. Week, <laughs> you should at least have some interviews lined up. Okay, you can go. I was going to say, people were making fun of Alex, maybe even myself, at the first um, stream for him not having a job, but I didn't realize that he'd literally come back from school that day, so it doesn't really make sense for him to have a job yet. <laughs> like, he just came back from school. But... Oh, fuck, we're back to the yeek chamber. <gasps> Let's go! Alex, take a step back. Our mom works really hard. It's not her fault you need to get a job. Why is Alex so upset about needing to get a job? Like, surely that would already be on his mind. To some degree? I, I didn't realize he was like that much of a... a man-child. I just gave him the benefit of the doubt. You knew this would come eventually. Alex getting a job would be like the Gumball episode where the universe collapses because Richard became a pizza delivery man. I have no idea what Gumball or the pizza man or Richard is, but that sounds like a, a, a riot. What do liberal arts majors do for work? Um, uh, point of sales, usually? I don't know. Maybe he can work on that guy's zine with him. You are sentenced to job at McDonald. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not Alex 11, it's Alex 2, because it's... Well, they're L's. They should be Roman numerals, but they're L's? I don't know. Teaching sometimes. Come on, don't you want to work for yourself? Put that degree of yours to use? Hopefully. Mom did everything for us. And now we can't repay her this way. Just be nice. Play it cool. Mom, I already have a job as a forum moderator. Uh, I don't think they have moderators on whatever the fuck don't Michael's punch website a wall is. Or throw the panda or something. Don't let her actually see how you're acting. You mean how you're feeling?
His hitbox is deceptively small. Yeah, this way. We didn't do this before. It happened to us. Alex hasn't actually reacted yet. It's we're supposed to just assume that he's really upset. Why did you start acting this way, man? Can I can I leave? Love your mom, and you're grateful for everything she's done. Why can't you just do a better job of showing her that? I prefer the panda. Just a condescending, like, little floating pixie that, like, berates you for being an asshole would be a lot better than this. Let's do this. Next time you feel like being a first-class a-hole, don't. Okay, can I go back now? Sounds pretty simple to me. The last five Alexes have said that. Yes, I understand. Yeah, it's easy to not be a jerk. But I just want to know why you've changed. Have you changed, though? Yeah. Yeah, you've totally changed. But can you change back? Can you de-yeek what has been yeeked? You can now contribute to the family by applying for jobs. Yeah, make your mama proud. Let's go get a job, Alex. Good thing mom despawned during that half hour long cutscene so we don't actually have to risk showing her how angry we are. Let's save the game multiple times just for outs and even if it takes an hour to overwrite all the save files. Come on, mom. No one cares about your dead job now. I can't do the yeek voice without just going into Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> it, it is such um w when Alex gets agitated, he he does like the most voice actor voice possible. I don't I don't know how else to describe it. Um, it it must be something they teach you at like voice acting schools how to do that specific voice because no no one ever sounds like that in in reality. It's only voice actors um, reading agitated lines in like anime dubs. That's the only time it happens. All right, we now have two save files. CalArts voice acting? No, I'm thinking of like anime dubs specifically. It's always in like anime, you have that, that voice comes up. The most extreme example so far was uh, Michael and Alex talking in the arcade for the first time. It's good to be back in Yeekton. Let's see how the zines progressed. Yo, I came to pick up the zine. That's still happening? Oh, yeah! I said, well, uh, you can come back tomorrow. I'm gonna run over to the printers any hour now. The printers, that is. Just need to finish up the editing. Yeah. I could have been the one to fill her dark soul with light! I'm assuming that how that line is read in context. Not sure if I've ever actually heard it. Give it to me, that thing. Your dark soul. Um, we're, the local businesses were all to the right town. To the right side. That was exactly on point. <laughs> Good. I've either heard it before and forgot, or it was just that obvious. Get a job at the arcade so I can harass Vela constantly until she gets so pissed off that she leaves this realm. I think she's already left the realm because she was mad. Um, oh, pff, insurance fraud. There, I got you some money, mom. I dove in front of the taxi. And then Alex's mom reveals that they don't have health insurance because uh, she, had, she doesn't have enough money because he was paying for his college the whole time. And it's really funny. Spend the day in the arcade instead of giving a job. There, I, I assume there is an option to just not get a job and be a degenerate. Um, I don't know what happens, but I like to think that it's an option. Hello. <clears throat> it's look who it is. So 
Sorry, Alex, but the owner refuses to hire our friends or employees. Plus, I'm still mad at you after the way you acted to Rory. So the the quote-unquote Korean man has like picked up on Alex's relationship with uh, Vela and will not hire him. Um, or maybe that's just Vela being nice <laughs> because the, the owner's already decided to not hire Alex for entirely independent reasons. Is there an option to bet on horse races? Uh, if so, I will play Lonely Rolling Star and we will make one trillion dollars. After a certain age, adult children uh, can't be on a parent's insurance plan. Oh, I see. I think it's the same in Canada, it's just that health insurance doesn't matter nearly as much. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, that would be a tragic misunderstanding. <laughs> Alex commits insurance fraud without actually having insurance. <laughs> this is our uh, poppy picker. I'm doing the public a favor. I've got loads of samples and plenty of patience. Daitongendula, or whatever it was. Mom, I don't need a job. After Elon promotes Dogecoin, we'll be rich. It's going to the moon. We need diamond hands, Mom. Gendered porta potties. I've never seen that before. Unless it's just they're they're not gendered and it's just different colors. It, it is kind of an interesting litmus test. Like there's no indication that they're gendered except for the colors that are already sort of implicitly gendered. Very interesting. It's possibly a commentary on society. I hate the pawn shop. They fired my mom. Now she has to get a job with the big apple. You ever been there? That says I'm not allowed to go because I have fruit allergy. Oh, it was a pun. Um, I'm assuming there's no jobs in this park. Oh, what's down here? Now leaving Frankton. Why did I come here again? Everyone seems so on edge lately. That's my thing. I'm the old worrying woman. The future will be okay. I mean, I won't be around to see it, thank God. But I can lie to myself, right? Something something boomers, fucking boomers. Is there a chest behind here? No, what's the point? I don't know, is it, there's nothing at all in this area. What a pointless area. When does one of them say I'm yeeking out? Well, they say it all the time with their body language is really what you gotta listen for. I love how they dub in the, um, the car going past the streamer's house at high speed. They're just in the game itself, uh, in case the streamer does not actually live outside of a busy road. Oh, it's the Double Davis. Dude, don't I look super rugged? My brother is the smartest. We get so many girls now. Uh, like combined? How does that work? I finally did it. I fought the guy. I attacked my brother. Now I've got this awesome scar. My only problem is he has the same fighting technique. So now we have the same scar. I'm not really sure what you're getting at there. Um, it said he was smart though, so. Oh, it's this guy. Man of business. This is the same guy from the camera shop. Stupid necktie, never grow up, young man, never. Oh, it's stuck in the box, I get it. That's nerdly and birdly. They're both ripped. Oh, I can walk on the road. This is surely where the insurance fraud occurs. God, there's not, there's nowhere even to dodge to the side if a car comes. Like, there's no sidewalks. You can just leave. Oh, I didn't know you could walk over here. Let's go to the fucking reality distortion. I mean, the lake, never mind. Um, you can't cross the highway. Oh, good. All right, um. Well, I would flee, but you know, you know, unless this is also misinformation, 
I ever hit something. This will increase the power of the move for the rest of the game, apparently. That sucked. Is this Toby Fox? I don't I don't know if you've heard this yet. I don't remember. I think it's Toby. The Toby Fox one is the one with the drums, I think. They all have drums mostly, I think? This does, like, I see what you mean, like, the bass line kind of sounds a bit Delta Rooney. We've definitely heard this before. This is Toby. Someone seems confident, at least. The sound effect at the start of each turn is from Link to the Past? I don't know, I haven't noticed that. I'll listen for it. Oh, I can only use it once until I level up my PP again. Oh, this sounds like very Toby. Yeah, this is like some Toho shit. Oh, well, it's easy once you point it out. Uh, that did no damage. I'm just gonna run. Just use LP toss, then run away. That's the new meta. I hope you all enjoy. This fucking thing. I don't think you can dodge that. Like, if I jump, it would just hit me anyway. The rat be squeaking. You know it's Toby if it has a piano section. Well, if the piano sounds like Toho, then it's Toby. And or Zun. I don't think they got Zun to work on the soundtrack, though. Stronger Buster. <laughs> Thy Stongen Buster. Uh, YOLO. Try running again. Don't give me the bouncing chicken. Don't do it, game. Don't give me the bouncing chicken. What's the point of having a mini game that's like skill based if it's still just random chance into the hood? That's very annoying. Wait, is time energy back on? I, I disabled that. Or maybe I reloaded the game and it reverted that. Hmm. It'll work eventually, maybe. I am jumping this time. What, it doesn't jump if you jump? It just, it just changes its behavior if you do an input? That's the solution? I could tell from a mile off that if I jumped it would hit me, but it just doesn't move if you jump. That's fucking bullshit. Oh my god, I'm gonna be stuck up here forever. Okay, well now I know the technique. I'll never be fooled again. I, I won't need to be fooled again. Okay, that was easy. That's like an AVGN moment. That's like something the AVGN would complain about in a 40 year old game. It stops jumping if you stop! What a piece of donkey doo doo! You know? Um, I don't know where I'm going. Is that an Ever Jail? Oh no, it's a dungeon. Level 10. Sounds like a great idea. What were they thinking? Yeah. All right, do your thing, Alex. The Joe Star secret technique and or the Rinse Wind secret technique. Take your pick. You can't jump on top of the box, bruh. I may die. I have to dodge. I completely failed to dodge. Oh well, I saved before I left town. Ah, well. Okay, so don't leave town is the moral of the story. Just don't do that. That's fine. 
No, it puts you in the battle. Fuck, why is this how it works? Oh wait, if I click don't continue, then it'll probably reload me at the save point. Maybe that's how it works. Oh well. Either way, it gives me another chance to escape. The background is different this time? Why? Look, I'm doing it. Look at me go. Like, there's never a reason to not click continue in games like this, usually. To the extent that I'm, I'm not really sure why it's even an option, except for historical holdover. <laughs> when you had to, like, put in a quarter to continue. Ready to run. Lesson of the day, never go outside town, but also just never go outside. Was that tip saying video games are not a waste of time or that they are? I missed it. Both are true, contextually. What's down here? Oh, the overworld again, probably. Okay, don't, don't fall into the trap. Uh... I have to play video games to increase my stats. Like, isn't that Persona 5? You actually level up one of your stats by just playing at the arcade. Um, alright, let's get a job at another one of our interests. Such as this guy who's been in a bunch of splash art and is- oh no, it's a different guy now. What happened to the first guy? What will you do? Sorry, bro, but we aren't hiring anyone at this time. Oh. <laughs> Too late to avoid my body odor this time. The camera store. Looking for a job? Sorry, but I don't think your skill set includes knowledge about cameras. Or sorry, I read that wrong. I don't think your skill set includes knowledge about cameras. If your friend Michael was the one asking, however. Fair enough. The sports store, surely. Potion seller voice. All right. I'm not quite sure if you're the right person for this position. Oh, you can tell my my pasty skin, my lack of all pigmentation means that I don't actually play any sports. No, I just played badminton. It's it's all indoors. Uh, he doesn't believe me. He's perfect for the sports store. To the burger joint it is. You think you have the skills required to flip burgers? I was an apprentice for years, learning everything about the sacred art of burger flipping. I doubt you've ever flipped a burger in your life. So it's a Japanese burger restaurant. Shit. What's behind the pink door? Why is there a nook here? What is the purpose of this nook? What? I work here now. Get out of here. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. What if I just start working and eventually people will assume that I'm supposed to be here? I just start making burgers. Isn't Alex really physically strong? He can kill actual samurai turtles. Well, you could have to get a job at the fucking samurai turtle killing store in that case. Well, that's enough job hunting for one day. I read that weirdly. Well, that's enough job hunting for one day. I should head home and get some sleep. He really did try his best. He went door to door. He asked like five different places. Um... Hey, Alex. It's you. No, no. I already said I, there was no time for that. Hmm? Oh, okay. Look, you know, I gotta go. Say hi to your sister for me. 
This plot point is never brought up again. I have no idea if that's true or just it, someone's shit posting. I couldn't deal with this. It would be better if it was just garbage noise at this point, right, Alex? I was going to unplug this phone. That would piss off my mom, though, and she would just plug it back in, so I didn't. I winced every time this stupid thing rang. Oh, the books, right. Um, are you getting those, those cookies have been there for three weeks. Just eat the fucking cookies, Alex, I swear to God. Those bread is extremely stale right now. Did Alex talk with Gaster? No, it was an unrelated um, phone entity. Mom really needs to go shopping. So the, the grocery store plot point is gone forever. The job search plot point may well be lost forever. Um, really getting it to a complete and utter waste of time. Um, what even is my goal right now then? I was told to get a job and I failed. Um, none of my friends want to talk to me because I'm an asshole. Um, do we wait another two weeks for 4chan posts? Because we don't have any leads. I can just go back to sleep. Like fucking Omori. Just, well, that was a day. Time to go back to sleep and be sad. It's like the middle of the afternoon, clearly. Oh, good God. I just let it play. Oh, no, we didn't get a cutscene that time. Just an image of the bed robot girl. Cool. I was having this recurring dream. Oh, is that what that's supposed to be? A dream? Because that's recurred both times so far when Alex is awake and in the middle of something happening. It was a weird dream. The sort of dream that shouldn't be scary because the imagery is actually pretty tame. But is actually frightening because it's in Yeek. But still, no matter what I did, I just couldn't shake the feeling the dream gave me the next morning. There's this woman. She's a woman made of plastic and we're watching her. Yeah, I've had this described to me before, Alex. I'm familiar with the concept. Yes, we are. You and I. We observe her motionless form and discuss the state of her condition. He has broken the fourth wall. Okay, who does he think he's talking to? We're not doctors in the dream. We have no intention of helping her. I wonder if that'll be addressed or if it's just for shock value. I don't know. But at the same time... I don't think we want to hurt her. There's a third person there. But she doesn't speak. In fact, we never see her face. The narrator. I think she's judging us. In a way, you and I are trying to impress her. It's some vague commentary on lit critique. That's what I'm getting. I don't know what the commentary exactly is. Well, what point it's making because I've never studied lit critique <laughs> but um, it seems to be that the the narrator is like an instructor of some sort pointing out all the symbolism in the scene and we're trying to impress her by understanding the symbolism is that what he means you speak more than I do and for some reason you're a woman oh oh no wait the third voice is me so the narrator has become the audience in that scene so who is the other the third entity he was referring to <laughs> I guess that isn't so strange now, is it? Uh, okay, that's peculiar. At least the game is addressing it. I'm happy it's not just there as like a, just the fucking devs dunking on you or something. That's kind of what I assumed it was. It was just like throwing in some shit just to, just to make fun of you for caring basically. Um, yeah, we're in the, um, the Omori scenes where he's gonna fight the phobia. Uh, it's gone spooky lighting. This is why you don't fall asleep at 4 p.m., Alex. Maybe this is shower time, though. I'm still waiting for that shower. I, I have, like, a, a legitimate desire as a ghost, by the way. Like, a legitimate desire to have Alex do things that are actually, like, productive. Like, I really wanted to get a job. I really wanted to take a shower. Like, it would just make me happy if he, we saw him do something like that. Um, do I touch the ghost? Don't go to 4chan at number AM. 
What will you do? Seems like a good time to uh, bump up my stats a bit. This is fine. Uh, there's a soul survivor down here, apparently. I'm back. Is this Ringu? Uh, nope, because I'm now leveling up. Oh yeah, Croaster. Oh, the soul survivors. Oh, does that what it means? That actually cancels a level up? In that case, I'm never using that ability again. Fuck that ability. <laughs> Feedback. Cool. The room is possessed by an entity. Oh, I can fight the entity. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Um, I'm going to get more PP, actually. I'm going to give that the biggest upgrade, because I really want uh, more PP. Um, yeah, I don't feel like fighting the entity right now. I'm mostly just here because I wanted to see if it would let me do the, the comical tone shift. Can't level up any further. Maintaining multiple save slots is gonna be a challenge though, because like it takes a good 10 seconds to save every time. It's a shame I missed the beginning, I'll try to catch the next one. I'm not sure what even happened in the beginning. Like, basically, we just walked out of the sewers. Like, a, a clusterfuck happened. Then we spent the next hour leaving the sewers, and nothing much has happened since then. Um, it was very front-loaded. Oh, the ghost is gone. What? Did I break the cutscene? Okay. I'm going to say it. Maybe I never could have interacted with the ghost. The, the golden alpaca is here for some reason. What's Alex going to say? I skipped the section? Really? Was there supposed to be a cutscene there? Or did I... Is that just inconsequential? Maybe I'll never know. I don't know if you've noticed. I certainly did. In fact, I've been trying to ignore it all along. You see, there was a figure in my house. Yeah, I've, I noticed. There's a ghost. It followed me around. It was lurking in the corner of my eyes at all times. Yeah. Was this why my mood had been so strange? It's got boobies. Why I felt so weird since I last saw everyone? No. I, no? I don't think that was it. Okay. Something told me the figure wasn't bad. It had been here a while. Haven't you noticed it? Yeah, it, I really did. It had been here since I returned home from college. Maybe even before. Why is he explaining this? I think I needed to speak with it. Okay. It was materialized. It was no longer transparent. Was it an entity? Why the hell was it living in my house? I feel like we'd answer these questions if we just got to, like, interact Get with the out. ghost. I don't want you here! Do you understand what I'm saying? Leave! Be gone! Ugh, I wish Vela had taught me banish. Yeah. Um, what happened to talking to it, Alex? Well, the table's set for six. Let's go to the backyard and further derail the cutscene. Um, yeah, this guy's looking like he, he got knocked out in a dodgeball and he's waiting on the sidelines. You look at an illegal copy of yourself. Do not gape in awe. Stare in horror at the atrocity before you. He's talking about himself, Lamau. Can we discuss from the, um, across the coffee table? Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? He only has, yeah, he has one wing now. This isn't even a real TV show. Do you even speak English? Alex, you're not really, you're supposed to ask, like, what is your name? When did you die? Like, you know, I'm going to play Phasmophobia. Not like, do you speak English? Are you Korean? Strong silent type, I see. Okay. What to do, what to do. Touch it. Touching has no effect. 
Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, you have any ideas? You look at an illegal copy of this. No. I can eat the cookies. This is just awkward now. There's just like two random dudes in my living room at two in the morning and I've got insomnia. Alex spotted something. Yo, 21 cents. What if I play the Megalovania? Um, I can just leave. Object permanence. Yep, object permanence. Oh, there it is. Um, if only we had bathroom access now, we could recreate the Omori gag. I mean, <laughs> it's not really a gag, but... Come on, Alex. Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, I see why they gave him man a mandatory turning circle. Oh. <laughs> my mom wouldn't let me bring my games to college. <laughs> Wait, I missed that before. That's too bad. You could have made some friends in the dorm room playing Super Smashing Fighters. Go back downstairs. Okay, object permanence fails in this transition. Uh, oh, okay, it's back. You look at an illegal. Okay, maybe it wants to eat the cookies. This has now become like an adventure game. Use the chewing gum on the fishing line, Alex. Oh, the back door is open. Use the salt on the tomb of the druids. Is it? Oh, this is, it's like day for night in game. Uh. This is less coherent than off. I mean, coherent isn't really, off felt very coherent. It was kind of a nonsensical surreal plot, but it felt coherent, like tonally. Uh. Can I get out of bounds and soft lock myself? Now that I know it can happen, <laughs> I have to try, right? We're being led somewhere. I could have come here earlier. I'm pretty. No, the back door was just locked. That's why I couldn't. All right, the the backyard tunnel. Here I come to the radio antenna. We're gonna fight that one stand from part four and it's gonna be really awkward. There's like a half second delay before you can put further inputs in in these menus. Why did they do that? Like you can't mash through it. Oh, 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 okay. This section relies on Alex being a fucking blind moron. Uh, you just mean it following him around? That's big cash. See, I don't need a job. I can just loot treasure chests in the wild. I am making a lot more money doing this than it would be at the burger place, so I don't think he can really knock Alex. Yak is coming. Battle tip. You can hit the colored sections of the record more than once. Oh, that would have sucked to not know until now. I had chat tell me that. Am I... Is this some sort of really abstract, like, ice block puzzle? I guess it's not. I thought it was literally me. It would just kind of teleport backward until it hit the chest. Um, 
medicine. Some pizza. Five bucks. Oh, that guy came fast. That pizza's gotta be rotten. They don't rot, they're uh, monster food. Deploy the LP toss, Alex. This is how we win. I have no idea how to actually aim this or if it's possible to do so. You just gotta stun lock one of the white ones. You can move Alex and LP toss. I didn't even know that. Holy shit. I'm like the dipshits who um in the papyrus boss fight just never try moving left or right and, and wonder why it's so hard. Oh oh he's coming. He's got a long range. They hooked that guy up to the A star pathfinding. Uh That is an alien who looks like every person in this town. Uh, odd minigame for only one person in the battle. Holy fuck, alien! Oh, look, it's a remix of the main theme. Huh. This is a groove. It's got like a whole kind of big band brass going on. Out since saw the video on A-Star Pathfinding. <laughs> Joke's on you, I didn't see a video. I've just written the algorithm several times. Okay, more beaten down time. Beat down in time. 20 and 1, that's the record so far. But the, uh... Infinite time energy has disabled itself. 72 damage. Record breaking. You did put him to shame, Alex. You wish more of the song sounded like that. Yeah, the soundtrack is very inconsistent. It, it feels like something they got a whole bunch of people to collaborate on because there's like. This feels like there's a different battle theme every single battle. And they vary wildly in quality, so it's like. Um, it's kind of like how Homestuck does its music, right? There's a million songs, but there's no quality control. Um, whereas, like, Omori has a billion songs, but it was just two artists who somehow made all of them, so they're all really good. But I don't actually know how the soundtrack was made for this game. It, it might just be one person. Running shoes, which do not increase overworld speed, tragically. Shit, if only Omori was here. Speaking of him. We can get past those. Oh, that was an enemy. I didn't even notice that. Actually, hang on. Um, I know the meta now, so I can just heal FP and then use uh, LP toss. Get some training in. Where is a decent PP item? I guess can use a holy water. It's a bit of a waste. But it's worth it for the meta. Oh yeah, you can just move him up here. Way easier. Well, theoretically, way easier. LP talk. 
Hmm, not that much damage. I guess they're resistant to it. Eighty-seven digital cameras? No, it's just it's one X eighty-seven digital camera. It's a common misconception. Spam it. I've been told by some people in chat that this move gets stronger every time you use it for the whole game. It's impossible. It's impossible. What the fuck? And I have no idea why that would be true, but maybe it is. Uh, and now I'm back to this bullshit. Um, we're barely even damaged. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. This is my tactic, is spam LP tossed and run, because it like somehow levels it up, maybe. Highly degenerate gameplay. I'm good at dodging. Only if I'm not trying to or thinking about it. As soon as I really concentrate on getting the big dodge or I'll die, I, I use the miss. <laughs> Gato. I've almost forgotten you can do that because so many chests are like locked. They're cat roofed because there's an enemy guarding them. Poggers. Uh, that guy's coming at me. I can dodge him though. That's nice. Why do they have to give it the slowest possible form of movement just for this one section? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. That bit's not allowed. Uh, is there a point to being over here? I can get that chest. Hmm, it looks like I have to be on the left side to access this though. How would I know? Oh, I need to go up higher, I think, and then jump down. That's probably it. Uh, oh, oh, I got him stuck on the weird part. Huh. Shit, I forgot that I could also fall off the edge. Will this stun? Oh, it does. It's like an actual Zelda boomerang. That's very useful, actually. Uh, bike helmet's probably good, isn't it? Um. Oh, all the items unequipped from the party? Because I don't have a party, that's a pain in the ass. But I guess kind of good in this context. The fitted baseball cap is plus nine speed. That's what Vela had, I think. Um, strength? It's not defense? All right. Oh no, it was down here and then you do that. Me and the boys chasing the entity. Yeah, it's actually the boys and I. D don't I already have that one? Oh no, he wants it that way. This is back alley boys. Uh, that's more like it. It's a good item. Birdly cameo, exactly. Why did it make a noise? What was the noise for? This is a fucking weird suburb, man. Nothing but fences. Fifty buckaroonies. I can trivialize the enemies now with the catering. I'm glad I learned that. There's so much money in here, who needs a job? You're an idiot if you have a job in this town. You're actually so dumb. That was Birdly from Elden Ring, yeah. Two hundred dollars! This is so fucking easy. Easier even than doing election trucking streams. <laughs> Hmm. 
Do 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 We just can't do anything. <laughs> he tried to his uh stun timer wore off in the cutscene, but I called it. I was onto his shit. This is a highly uh curvaceous space entity here. I keep noting that. Um Did I miss anything super important? Kind of, but it made no sense. All the this plot the occurred point for my journey, I think. at the beginning Everything of the stream. This night in the end. What I would do next, you know? Good to know that the story's peaking here, Alex. Thank you. Um, yeah, there was a huge clusterfuck with the the boss of the sewer dungeon, um, which was never even fully resolved. Then we flashed forward, then flashed back, then flashed forward again. And now we're just kind of treading water, and, and, and we've been contacted by the ghost in the middle of the night, and that's progressing the plot currently. Uh, the party is, has abandoned us temporarily because we were such an asshole. <laughs> you know. That's the guy who made Gravity Falls? Who? What, what's that guy's name? Alex or something? Hirsch? That, that comes to mind? That could be a different guy, though. It is Hirsch, okay. Maybe because more of the plot has been explained, maybe because less overall dialogue, maybe because we've turned into easy mode, but it's not as bad as the first stream. Uh, kind of? It, it feels different. I'm not sure if it's better. Oh, Hirsch is an anagram of Yeek, right. I didn't have to follow the entity here, but I'm glad I did. I couldn't imagine life if I hadn't. But maybe there wouldn't be life if I hadn't. What do you want me to do with this? I knew what the entity wanted. It wanted me to play the record. To drop the needle. To broadcast the lush and soaring tunes of this masterful LP for the world to hear. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't know that exactly, but I had my suspicions. There's nothing here. It's empty. Hey, not my fault. Do you know where it is? Does it have to be this record? What about one of the others? <laughs> you can talk. Okay, fair enough. What do you want me to do? Why is Alex so pissed off at this ghost? He's like just berating it constantly. It's a ghost, okay? Just maybe be nice so it doesn't um, suck your soul out through your butthole or something, Alex. I'm eating a sandwich, by the way, so I'm letting the, the cutscene go. Oh, great. Now you're mute. Look, I'll swing into town in the morning and see if they have this record, this mystical Ultima LP legend or whatever. So you just followed the entity to a radio tower a few miles from town? What is wrong with you? It was the only way to hey, progress the plot. don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same. He's right. We would have been stuck looking for a jaw otherwise. Was it talking panda? The panda, I think, is like an imaginary friend that he projects his inner thoughts onto, but he also has a different mechanism for doing that that is not a panda, so it's a bit confusing. More tea. Get ready for them to say mystical, magica, ultimate LP, legend a lot. Okay, good. It's the, like morbid curiosity. The mystical LP not. starring Goemon. I wanted to see what it wanted. Why it's been living with us. I had just thought your panda friend was getting to be a bit juvenile, so you picked up something more sinister looking. <laughs> Morbius curiosity. Shut up. So. I'm gonna go knock on Michael's door and swing to town, see if I can find this mystical Ultima LP legend. I think that's a good idea. Think anyone really wants to talk to you after that stunt you pulled? Is that related hey, to um, Super Brothers to Swords and Sorcery EP? Maybe. Anyway, I'll pay him a visit. You'll see. No one's mad at me. They've just been busy. The LP is King Crimson. <laughs> I hope. 
Confusion truly will be my epitaph if this game kills me. Alright, save again. Alex will use that morbid curiosity to investigate the horrors of unemployment. He's already been doing that. Truly a man of culture, Dad. <laughs> That, that's the only King Crimson reference I can make, period. Don't get too excited. Gotta open that fucking bathroom. There's probably, like, someone's dead body in there. Otherwise, why keep it shut? Right? It only makes sense. Um, oh, I can now use the back door. I guess I go back up there once I find the um, the mystical ninja stirring Goemon LP sword and sorcery EP. Do not go in there. Despite everything, it's still a bathroom. That's for the end game, we're not there yet. Oh yeah, I forgot if this occurred since the last stream. It probably did. Um, I actually can't remember shit. But um, I got my hands on the, the Legends of Localization book, finally. Um, for Undertale. Which has been, has been kind of a, a buzz, or at least when it released um, a few weeks ago, it, it got the whole fandom in a buzz. Because there was a chance that there would be some like um, insider lore, or some clarifications about Undertale in the book. And they're, they're almost kind of are, but it's also, like, kind of sketchy because it's just the interpretations of the author who is not directly involved with the the game or the translation. Um, the insight, a lot of it came from the, the spreadsheet notes that Toby left for the localization staff, which is quite reliable. Did I not open this? What? Bizarre. It was Tomato, yeah. Tomato was the guy who did the um, Mother 3 fan translation. He also wrote the book. Um, but yeah, there, there's some bits of info that come directly from Toby Fox, which are hard to ignore, but some um, are more just sort of the interpretation of Tomato, which, like, I guess whether they're right or wrong, they weren't wrong enough that Toby would, like, ask him to change it. So um, the one specific comment I'm talking about is the... Uh, the three entities vying for control over the protagonist's body or something. Which is like... <laughs> it's a bit unclear exactly what that means or where he got that from, but it's in the book, so... That's the weirdest one in my eyes, is like... It it's weird how confidently it states that... Even though I'm not quite sure what it would mean. <laughs> three entities. Um, what actually had me a little bit more spooked was the whole, um, the bandage translation. Oh, talk to Michael first. Oh, that's his house, I forgot. I was thinking like, oh yeah, Michael occurs outside the arcade, so I'm gonna go to the arcade. Yeah, it's Toby Fox saying, yeah, that's cl close enough, um, I think. But yeah, the bandage was that, um, apparently the bandage from the start of the game, in English, you know, a band-aid and like a gauze bandage is the same word, but in Japan they're different words, and so they had to specify it. And apparently they went with a gauze bandage, which was like explicitly approved by Toby Fox, so... It's a bit fucky, because that ties into the fucking coffin lore and all that weird shit. Uh, which almost seems to lend some evidence toward that unholiest of theories <laughs> that, uh... Frisk is literally Kara's dead body or what something like want? that, so I don't know what the fuck the deal with that is. Oh, is Michael home? Is that Michael's sister? Michael? Wah! There is no Michael who lives here. But again, the um, the editorialization of like the um, this ambiguity creates a parallel when later in the game the issues of bandages are raised again, which ex refers explicitly to the coffins, that came from Tomato's own interpretation, 
as far as I can tell. So, again, it's hard to tell exactly how much to read into it and how much is just Tomato's own guess. Only, oh, you must want the house next door. Yeah, Michael lives there. Because there's a couple other misinterpretations in the book that made me think that, like, Tomato's not... <clears throat> He's not just like an Undertale brain rot weirdo, like many of us. He has a solid grasp, but like some of the very specific things he seemed to be a bit confused about, so. Oh, sorry. Whoops. That was weird. I've known Michael forever, and I swear to God, he always lived in that house. Yeah, didn't he already specify that he lived here? I needed to relax. I was letting all the paranormal get to me. He's yeeking. Remnant has the book, but it's not finished it? Really? When when I got that thing, I binge read it for like an entire evening, and then the next day I finished it. I was actually sad at how, how quickly I finished it. You thought the three entity thing was player frisk and the fallen child. That That is logically what the three entities would be. It's just... It's, it's strange to classify Frisk as a separate one, because usually Frisk kind of gets left out as a... I guess it kind of makes sense, like the player and Kira and Frisk, but it's like... It's just weird to phrase it like that, you know? There, there's not really three... Um, what do you call it? There's not three visions for what the body should be doing. It's kind of like one weird shared vision or, or two different ones at the end of the genocide route when you and Kara become sort of separate, but um, it's it's mostly just weird to see it stated so clearly and unambiguously. Um, so Michael lives in some other house. You wouldn't call Frisk an entity? They're, a, a entity just means that it's a general form of person or anything. It's if you were a person, you were an entity. My parents are really into alliteration. Personally, I'm more into assonance. You know, like the early bird catches the worm. Cool. Uh, so I just gotta check all the houses, I guess. Man, why are you bugging? Don't you know it's my day off? It was your day off three weeks ago, dude. You got two heart lockets for the price of one? How did you spend that? Oh, you broke it playing the music. How is the fallen child the same as the player if they turn against us in the ending? Ah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think the fallen child could be the same as the player. That's not what I was implying. Um, but there are some instances where the fallen child seems to be used as a stand-in for the player's own mindset or to critique the player's mindset. So, but but I, I already looked there, didn't I? I don't think I'm paying enough attention to the game right now because I'm talking about fucking carrot lore, but... The reason there's always a week skip is to give that guy his one day off, <laughs> so it always lands on his day off. Could be. Uh, this is the house I checked, right? Wouldn't it just mean that Kara's the narrator holds true? It, it's independent of Nera Kara. It, it has nothing to do with Nera Kara, actually. Um, there's gradations to Nera Kara. Like, Kara is somewhere acting as an entity within Frisk's whole kind of complex, um, regardless or not, whether if Kara is the narrator through most of the game. Um... The actual narrow care theory is like yes. a strengthening of that. Can I help you? Is oh. Michael home? Uh, yeah, but he's sick. I'll let him know you rang the doorbell. Right, okay. Cool. Nothing to worry about, see? Stupid panda. He's just sick. Probably. What did the panda say?
Wait, so Michael is in the house, but he can't come into the door. Okay. What if I go back to this house? No, okay. What entity is controlling Alex Yeek? Well, he seems to acknowledge my presence already. He's not shy about breaking the fourth wall for whatever reason. I just don't know if, like... Traditionally, if when pieces of media break the fourth wall, it's sort of a departure from the state of the character's normal awareness. Like, Alex talking to me might not be, like, actually part of the story. That might just be something that occurs sort of outside the text, for my viewing only. Whereas dealing with Undertale all the time, you're, you're used to it being, like actually part of the diegesis that the characters would like kind of recognize you um if that makes any sense i'm not sure what this game's doing with it yet it's the same dialogue um i should have paid more attention to that because now i don't know what the fuck to do what if i go talk to uh vela Oh, you hit my cat! You hit my cat! Oh, I can blow these up now. Oh, hell yeah. Third time's the charm. Oh, who's a skull? Spooky. It feels to me that Alex is recalling the events as if he is relaying them to someone else after the fact. Well, he often is, but... Uh, he lapses into it, like, mid-scene, so it's... That kind of is how he talks, though. When he goes into narrator mode, it's like... He's like he's talking from having the whole game already um, in his memory. Okay, can I go to the right town now? I think I blocked it before. This kid has not left here in weeks. His eyes are just two, like, black charred holes bored into his brainstem. Alex, unless you need change, I can't talk right now. But. 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 Oh. Okay, so Vela's a no-go. Check the hint. Oh, the record shop! I forgot, for some reason the, um, the talk to Michael objective overrode the find the record objective in my brain. Uh, it's still this- the other dude, though. Hey man, I'm looking for this record. You've probably never heard of it, but it's called <laughs> Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Nah, man. I'm super into obscure music. I kind I of... all the choices here for the indie music. I basically gave him the right voice. <laughs> Just, I, I picked it from like the five on rotation and it was pretty close. Uh, let me check. Nah, we don't have it. It's like, yeah, I, th I think it's like sold out, dude. Damn. Okay. Anyway, can you order it? Uh, the manager has to do that. But don't you pick the indie music here? You literally just said that. Hey, man, lay off. Look, if you want something good, you can check out the Windtown Music Shop. But the whole, the, the whole town is just a bunch of like portable homes and crack addicts. There's nothing there. There's no infrastructure. They have a big selection. And they're usually down with the hip cat bands, you dig? Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. No worries. Is that why the um, the first clerk teleported there? Is because it was the better store? I don't know. Don't go to Windtown, talk to Vela <laughs> That sounds important, like soft lock important, okay. Crap. I was gonna have to go all the way to Windtown to find this thing. I don't wanna go alone. I wondered if Vela was at the arcade. 
Well, he told me uh, himself. Want to go back to uh, beat up some homeless people, Vela? It was so much fun last time. Remember a uh, man door hand hook card door? Hey, Vela. You busy? Hey, what do you want? So, it's a bit complicated. It's funny that the plot just kind of stopped occurring. Like, that really was their only lead. Was that one Rory post on 4chan. And once they exhausted that, they're just like, Well, I guess it's back to business. And they just sort of stop communicating completely. And... <laughs> And, and the plot just grinds to a halt existentially until Alex can have another encounter with the ghost by pure chance. It, it just seems to me like they would take it into their own hands, right? Like if if their lead ran cold, then they would form a plan as a group to like continue the search somehow, but no. Uh, can you get away from work for a bit? It's like, it, it's about Sammy and the entities and all that stuff. Remember that? Remember the story? How long do I need to be away for? Three days. Not long. Just need to run to Windtown. So like, three to four hours tops. Are you serious? You you want me to just walk away from my job for three to four hours? It's, it's important. Look, no one here really needs you to do your job. But it'll be fine. I need the money, Alex. Hey, I'll pay you. Alex is doing the long con. He's trying to get, um... Vela fired so that he can then take the arcade job. <laughs> what do you make an hour? Like minimum wage? I'll give you the 30 bucks. Alex, you don't get it, do you? You have no idea what hard work is. You don't get having a purpose besides your own stupid whims. Do you get how hard it is to go from she's, trying to save the world she's one turned afternoon chibi. to spending your every waking moment working at a friggin' arcade? I kind of do, except that instead of working at an arcade, it's just browsing Reddit and sleeping. It's just, this is when they decided to break out the uh, the secret character portrait they were hiding the whole time. And it's some like weird out-of-place anime bullshit. One second, you're banishing entities and exploring conspiracies, then BAM! You're stuck in a freaking New Jersey arcade yeah, it is New making Jersey. sure no mall rats are loitering. I mean, I, I don't want to come off too mean, Vela, but you were astrally projecting through all possible realities, and this is the body you decided to inhabit, who had a minimum wage job in an arcade, so like... Who do you really have to blame? You could have stayed in fucking the soul space and been one with, like, Buddha or something. Uh, you can't blame it all on me. Sure. It got my DDR game to be amazing, but I'm used to honing my skills to something with more of a purpose. One day, Alex, when you finally get a job... You'll understand how everything can't be conspiracies and missing mysterious girls all the time. Okay. Yeah, I get it. So can I get a job here then? <laughs> oh, Wait, like, Alex. It cut me off. I'm sorry. I was going to do a sorry. funny bit where I turned back around. No, I get it. That's how you feel about me. Oh no, Nothing Alex. Oh no, Alex. Alex you blow it. You blow oh, in it. Fine. I'm everyone's punching bag. Yeah, we gotta go mope for another week and then restart. Getting the story going again is like trying to start a fucking lawnmower. We're like yanking on the ripcord and the motor just won't catch. Alex is just like, nah. It's totally great. Just keep kicking me. Get over yourself, Alex. Could you be any more of an entitled little brat? Yes, and I will prove that to you. Last night, an entity was in my house. I followed it to an old radio tower, and there I found this. What the hell? Yeah, the entity was in my house. Is Vela wrong, though? I don't really know. It's a problem with the tone here. Like, it's... I, I'm not sure so far whether the entities and the Sammy are some part of like a big, you know, like reality kind of threatening upheaval 
that everyone has to be like, you know, all hands on deck for, or if it's just some random thing that happens continuously and it's just so happened that they've stumbled across this instance and and Vela's like numb to this shit because she already knows about it. Like, I'm not sure which of those two cases it is because it seems to oscillate back and forth. No, not that. I don't care about that. That happens all the time. This, this has to be a joke. Are you screwing with me? Where did you get that? Get what? I told you it was in the radio tower. The record? Uh, leave, whatever you call but it. But how did it get here? What? I... Look, do us all a favor and don't try to find that record. Just let it go. But don't you think that this is all connected? Sammy vanishing, me meeting you, Rory, the entity appearing in my house. When you put it that way, Alex, it's... Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> It doesn't necessarily feel connected. I know it is connected because it's all occurring as the plot of uh, a game. But otherwise it... It's just a bunch of weird shit. Sometimes a record is just a record and an entity just lives in your house. And Vela's saying it's not connected, even though it, it kind of has to be. But... It's just like... I don't know what I'm supposed to think at this point about anything. Don't try and connect everything together like there is some giant cosmic plan. Look, don't look for that record. Andrew smashed or pass entity. I don't know. If I saw the, that swirl on its face anime, that may do something for me. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to. You really can't stop me. Alex! Oh, sometimes you just make me want to- Leave work for four hours. <laughs> okay, now Vela's being weird. You'd think that Alex would just be the weird one, but now Vela's being really weird. She like really overreacted, but then didn't react to the part that Alex was actually worried about, and she won't explain what's going on. And obviously Alex is just going to investigate it because he doesn't have a job. So like, what does she think she's accomplishing here? I... If you find it, just leave me out of it. I want nothing to do with it. What? Do you, like, really, really hate this band or something? <sighs> Alex, just get the hell out of here. I don't want to see you for a while. We talking, like, a week, two weeks? Like, just give me a time frame. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. But really, though, can I have a job? <laughs> I think I just missed the um, the interaction trigger, but I thought for a second that I just had started a conversation and she was staring oh, at Michael, me without dude, saying anything. You're feeling better. What do you mean? Your mom said you'd been under the weather when I stopped by this morning. Oh yeah. <coughs> What are you up to? Michael's up to something. I don't really care what, though, to be honest. I told Michael what had happened, and thankfully he seemed to believe me. It would be pretty stupid of him not to at this point. We have literally fought God in the sewers. Okay, so let's hit up Windtown. And while we're there, why don't we stop in and check on Rory? The fact that the world map seems so... Like, I'm not sure what the bounds of it are and we're still just bouncing back and forth between two locations. It's a bit worrying for how long this could go on for. Make sure he doesn't hate you, our guts. No, <laughs> he totally hates my guts. I almost got defensive. I almost pointed out how Rory endangered our lives with his stupid attention-seeking lie. At least externally. There's only three towns. Okay, that's more reasonable, I guess. If we, um, they're just reused and there's only three of them. Let's save the game!
I'll even save twice this time. For no particular reason. Um, our Alex says monologues going to parallel world travel. Oh, uh, Outsindus wants me to, I think, save in a different slot each time. I think that actually makes more sense. That's probably what he means. So I'll do that. I'm really not used to ever doing that in games. Tell Michael to level? Uh, he'll be fine. I think I did that recently. Did these restock? Oh, shit, I'm like a raccoon. They just keep putting garbage and I keep eating it. It was the bus stop, wasn't it? The bus stop was at the very front of the town. Somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Take a bus tap back to the same place. What if I soft lock or some shit? Like actually soft lock. That would be bad. Why does the bus just take you to the middle of buttfuck nowhere and you still have to walk to the town? <laughs> You'd think if there was a town that would just- the bus would go there, maybe. Because it's New Jersey? <laughs> the music is so loud here for some reason. Okay, activate LP Toss. It's probably better against multiple enemies because there's more, um, sprites to shoot at on screen. good damage. Wait, it missed one of them? Why did it miss? This is some penis music, says chat. <laughs> A little bit. Fifty-one photos. Did it really hit the button that many times? Get him a body bag. This guy's dead as fuck. This guy's dead as if he had the Black Death in medieval Europe. He's dead, dude. He is unalive. Me right now says Outsin, pointing to an indecipherable emoji of some sort. It appears to be a a coked-out Smurf chugging a pixie stick. And or lighter fluid. Are you kidding? It's the Royal Rat Authority. God damn it. Uh, well, we have old, old standby here, or new standby, I should say. Uh, should I try to hit the red one? Is that better? They get lower, I see. I can probably uh, one cycle them with the photo shoot again. Oh, except that they hit first. Annoying. They outspeed me, that's shitty. Alex is getting wrecked. Please let me take my turn. Oh my god. Well, at least Alex didn't die.
Boy, I forgot I still had unlimited time energy on. I thought I turned it off, but apparently I still had it. That was a lot of photos. I think I found a better mashing technique, though. So that's something. Sort of like slapping the controller back between two fingers. I was one step away from the town. <laughs> There's become a cottage industry of this is me right now reactions in chat. Very good. Okay, so where to first? The record shop, obviously. Wanna hit up the record place and if we have time, go see Rory? Yeah, fuck Rory. Uh, I think we should see Rory first, since that's more important. Jeez, dude. Michael, you got the wrong priorities. I don't give a shit about Rory, okay? Like, it was mean, but I kind of meant it when I said who gives a shit about his dead sister. Like, I'm not very interested in that subplot anymore. I'd rather just see what the record is. I forgot this town had a shop, actually. Heal thyself! It is the same- what happened to the old... person? Where, where did he hey, go? we're looking for this record. It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Rory's story is the only thing in the game where your choices kind of matter. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I'm used to playing Delta Rune, so that doesn't bother me. I've got the record jacket, but not the record. Any idea if it's in stock? Mystical Ultima LP Legend. That has to be by far one of the greatest records ever recorded. It's a different it's guy. Worldly. He has a different voice, so it's supposed to be a different guy, but he just has the same sprite. I thought it was a bit, but it's just limited art assets. So you've heard of it? Nah, man, it's out there. In the ether. That sounds like it's from a different world. Just by the name alone, I can tell it's amazing. <sighs> Any idea where we can get it? Can't you, like, order us a copy or something? Let me check the record catalog. He just changes his voice depending on where he works? Maybe. Does it have to be on vinyl? I don't really care. I suppose I'd prefer it to be. <laughs> More of an authentic sound, you know? I'm going down the asshole route. It's not a real route. Yeah, but only if you're playing from a tube amp. You have a tube amp, right? If you don't, it's like you're only hearing half the song. Fucking audio files. Dude, you get it! Right on. Let me thumb through the catalog. Give me a second. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, we don't have it in our catalog. But we have two sister stores that probably will. They're both east of here. Great. If they don't have it, I know they'll at least know where to get it. A quest for great music is always a worthy one, man. Yeah. I think find this is worth it in the end. Can't we just check Napster? Does that exist yeah. yet? We'll check it out. So they're both east of here. Any specific directions? East. Go east. There's a strip mall east of here. That's the closest one. The one after that is northeast a bit. It's a standalone building. It's our flagship store, so I doubt you'll miss it. Good luck, guys! He means that there's um, a large flag and a ship on the roof. So, you want to hit up the other stores? Yeah, I guess. Sounds like it could be fun. But let's check on Rory first. What other stores are there? There's a 7-Eleven? <laughs> and maybe a Coke dealer. I'm not sure what other stores they're referring to. Oh, Rory. <laughs> I still can't just jump over the fence like that. It's a pity. Find the secret workshop. Bottom of the well? No. Who just has a well in their yard? Have you ever seen that? Has anyone in chat ever seen that? Hmm, Rory isn't answering. Maybe I should check the front door. 
That's not the front door. Oh, it's one of these weird houses where the front door is like... That, that, that's clearly a side door, though. It's like a sliding door. Oh, hi. Are you oh. Mary's friends? He doesn't get a lot of visitors. Why don't you come inside? Ah. Yeah, I thought there was implications that there was, um... <laughs> Some prostitution going on in this house. It makes more sense now. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Mom, I'm gonna take them downstairs. Come on. Got some sure legs. you want to come in and have something to eat? Leave them alone, Mom. Wow, Rory. Your mom is all legs. It's a weird fucking thing to say, Alex. There's like two back to back. Like the last thing he said to Rory was that no one cares your sister is dead. Immediately following it up, your mom is hot. Shut up. It's a joke, because it's just a, a 3D model of a leg, I see. Shut up. What do you <laughs> the line repeats. Find out any more information on Semi? Who the fuck is Semi again? Oh no, that's Sammy. Alright. Alex has something he wants to say to you. Do you know where to find a record called? Uh, okay, let's just let let's see if Alex will be a good person if given the chance to. Just just do something nice, Alex, please, for once. Look, man, I was out of line the other day. I was scared. I don't know what came over me. So, I'm hoping you can forgive me and can be friends. I, I think you're a cool guy, so, yeah. Yeah... Whatever, it's okay. I overreacted. Where was his mom? What do you mean it was just a leg? It's a leg, you know. Also, I was wrong to lie to you guys. You had a valid point. So, we're trying to track down this record. You want to come with us? Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, have I ever tried going through the underpass? Boys, night out! Alright. Let's go hang out with the boys. I can't even view? Oh no, there it is. Just carefully, don't make eye contact with the sister's grave. Oh, I can. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Water towers are always spooky. That's where the UFOs come down. There's nothing here, though. It's just a water tower. Great. Okay. Very cool. East, not west. This is west. I, I wasn't trying to go in the direction of plot. I just wanted to see what was through the underpass. So that's what it, why the grave was there. I was confused about that earlier, but it makes sense because she was dead the whole time. What, it's another reference to Elisa Lamb because her body was in the water tank? It's just a water tank, though. Like, I'm not sure if that counts as a reference just because it's a water tank. Um... Shit. Let's go fight the poop emoji after resolving our conflict over your sister's death. That's yeet. I am yeeking so hard right now. You don't even know, guys. I am yeeking so hard. That bat is tanky as fuck. Oh, dear. 
Chat says the battle music is sex music. <laughs> okay. We've had penis music and now sex music. My two favorite genres after Germacore. There's no reason not to constantly spam LPs during the minigame. There's no limit. It, the game's been patched since you've last played it. I, I can only have two on screen at once. Look out for number one. I figured out the technique here. Oh, I had it for a sec. I keep forgetting that I have infinite time energy. It's just cheating. Um, okay, the bat is immune to all physical damage. Period. It cannot be harmed. Uh, I'm not sure. I could easily be being like lied to about the the power increasing over the whole game because it's too slow to really tell. So I could easily just delude myself into thinking that's the case, um, but I don't know. Oh wait, I used smooth jazz by accident? Shit. Germacore music hipster? <laughs> I only listen to Germacore on vinyl. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Let's test out the skill. This is a really good play. Oh wait, Rory can only use that skill on himself? Oh, is that why he has so much PP? It's because all the PP is for is for replenishing his health? That's bizarre. That's really weird, but okay. I assumed you could target someone else with it. I finally did it. That's the first time in like an entire screen length that I've actually hit that attack properly. And it sucked. It did 11 damage. Rap fans, when you show them real music about like Germacore and the Undertale soundtrack. When am I having dinner? Uh, probably around like 6 o'clock or something. I just wanted to give a buffer. Alright, keep on pacifying on, Rory. We said we wanted to hang out with you, but we really just wanted you to tank damage for us. Germa Falls, it's a superior gravity falls opening. I've never heard of a Germa version of that, but I imagine, yeah, why not? I'm sure it exists. Why is this bat like a boss? Why does it have so much health? It just resists every one of our attacks. Michael! Who here knows about the Danny Phantom rap, the most written song of all time? I don't know. Is there any chance it has to do with ah. Daniel Stare? That would be worrying. Or not, um... Was that his name? No, Randy. Randy Stare. Danny is the name of the Phantom. <laughs> Easy mistake. Also, forget I mentioned that. I regret mentioning that. For number one, yeah. demonetize jokes on you. I don't monetize live streams anymore. They can't fire me, I quit. Common misconception I'm thinking the Danny Phantom's monster. 
so how do I get to the east? I gotta cross the highway, which means going down here. And what is a train station? This is where the guy got run over by a cop car. Uh, I don't have any PP left. Oh no. Birch beer. One one last birch beer. I gotta buy more of this stuff. Oh, I could just run, yeah. Well, after this I'll run because I won't have any more birch beer. I've been dodging pretty consistently. Watch, I'll miss this one. Yep, that <laughs> like clockwork. Look out for number one. Okay, there's like a weird text box that trolls you before the actual attack starts. <laughs> Birch beer isn't as good as root beer. Sounds like the opinion of a true mug head. I still want to try birch beer, it sounds interesting. Well, I've got the red one now. It's on my trap, it's a true combo. Okay, this is gonna hit for record-breaking damage. LP toss. I screwed up and hit nothing. Are you kidding? Oh, I saw the negative HP there. <laughs> How does it compare to ginger beer? Well, I don't, I've never tried birch beer. <laughs> that's that's the point. Um, unless you're asking chat. Is birch beer real or did they make it up for Yeek? Someone in chat said it was real. Michael! Michael! It's your birthday today! <laughs> Is it made of Minecraft birch wood? I'd imagine yeek birch wood. Birch beer is real. I was watching me some uh, tarnished archaeologist yesterday, the one Elden Ring channel. And he made a strong and compelling argument that the Erd tree is a, a beech tree, which I was thought was cool. <laughs> it's nice that you can- it's just identifiably a certain kind of tree. Um, uh, yeah, I'm running away now. Goodbye. I'm the giant rat who makes all the rules. The bongos are back. Heal thyself! Um, well, there's nowhere to- I prefer just to keep tempting fate over and over again um, until I die, then actually stop and heal. I'm just gonna go with that plan. Is this a- can I- is there anywhere to go up here? Or do I have to go back to uh, Yeekton and then go east from there? East is blocked though, like it's blocked by the train tracks. Oh, that's bullshit. Well, that's bad. But luckily, I think we can... Each of us can individually take a turn to run away. Oh, he's dead. Well, no big deal. He'll, he'll come back if we escape. The game has decided though, that every battle from now on is going to be four rats. Very cool. He's going. Okay, don't give me any bullshit patterns this time, game. The angry video game nerd is gonna come get you. Yeah, I cannot go past the train tracks under any circumstances. Um, but I also can't interact with the train station. It looks like I can take the train up there, but I just can't. Did I click on the station? I just did. 
Look at him go. Oh, oh. Oh, I think I'm in the clear. Rory stares into your soul. They all stare into your soul. That's the only face he can make. Cut him some slack. Is there a road I can take that lets me go east? It looks like I just have to go from above, you know? I can just keep doing this in perpetuity, I think, so it's fine. Um, even if Alex takes a hit and dies, he just comes back for the next battle. I don't think there's any way to preemptively avoid that. Like, maybe if I held the button down longer I could jump over, but there's some patterns where you need to land quickly to jump over it. Go back to the bus station. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, I guess in, in reality you don't hear it's east from the town and then just leave the town and walk to the east until you find it. You take a bus. Maybe that's more reasonable? Look at that. Flawless execution. The, the bongos are good for the running segments. I like it. I learned apparently that Subway Surfers is actually by far the biggest speedrunning community in existence. Because it's just like a meme in Brazil to speedrun it. And there's like four times as many players as Minecraft or something. Um, or speedrunners at least. Alright, we're back. I'm gonna save in the third slot. You've seen that video too, yeah. It's by a pretty small channel actually, like a weirdly small channel, uh, like 3,000 subs I think? Rather strange, because he makes pretty good videos and he's made a lot of them so far. Um, oh yeah, I can just take the bus there, so I didn't even need to have the directions. Why did it emphasize so much that it's to the east and you'll recognize it if I just took a bus? So Rory, tell us more about you. I don't think we know all that much. I spend all day on 4chan. Hi, I'm Rory. I'm a scene kid with a dead sister. <laughs> okay. That's mildly funny. Uh, that's it. Wow. Dark, dude. Do you, like, have a job or any hobbies? Ask him how he got his hair to look like that. Yeah, I work at this shitty video store, Planet VHS. We can get you any movie 6 to 12 months after its continental US release on VHS. So basically, we suck. Any plans for college or anything? Oh, that would be, yeah, it's true. I spend all day on 4chan as a really good conversation opener with Michael because he invented 4chan. That's not hair, it's a helmet. It does look like he's wearing a, a rain hood. Someone pointed that out. He's a croissant helmet made of pure shoe pastry. I don't really know if college is in the cards for me. He sounds like M. Plem and he kinda does a little bit. Why do you say that? Because I don't have money, you dumb fuck. Well, after my sister died, my parents aren't really themselves. They've had a rocky relationship as it is, so I think if I left, everything would fall apart. You have a dad? Oh. That's not your job. You don't have to keep your parents together. I don't know if that's true. I feel like I have a responsibility to them. Hmm. Do either of you have jobs? <laughs> <laughs> I used to deliver papers, but nothing lately. Michael is, uh, I don't know, what is he, 17 years old? Who, who the fuck knows? Now my dad pays me to proofread the things he writes. Oh yeah, and Alex is unemployed. I might be able to get you a job at Planet VHS. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah. It's a four mile no. commute walking along the highway. <laughs> Michael's shirt looks familiar. Yeah, it's cause it's the same shirt that Michael wears. Oh, I mean uh, that Rory wears. I'm just holding out for the right job. 
I'm not really in a rush. He sounds more like Yuri of Wind than Implement. Is that because he's voice acted by Yuri of Wind? I know some of them are YouTubers. Didn't you tell me on the way that your mom lost her job and you needed to help her out? Michael's between 60 and 30 years old. That's that's very accurate. I think she was just saying that. But I know she wouldn't want to push me into anything I'm not ready for. I don't know who uh, Yuri of Wind is, by the way. I've not heard of that person. Did you go to college? Yeah, I graduated earlier this year. I have my BLA. Blah. It's pronounced blah. Oh, so let me know if you do want that job at Plant BHS. Damn, Rory's, even he knows how useless uh, Alex's degree is. My manager has his BLA, and the night shift manager has his DMA in dance. Ah. <laughs> All right. I'll find something. I just need to hold out a bit longer till it feels right. Oh, hi, Toby in chat. The game is a bit awkward, yeah. Wish you weren't so fucking awkward, man. When I moved from Frankton to Jet Set City to start college, I spent the whole bus ride mentally reviewing my 19 years and realizing that almost everything that had happened to me was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not exaggerating. I, I didn't want to remember any of it. It was so pathetic. The more I thought about my life up to then, the more I hated myself. It wasn't that I hadn't been happy or hadn't enjoyed my high school experience. I could recall a handful of really great times, but if you added them up, shameful, painful memories far outnumbered the others. Sounds like high school, yeah. Always been doing budget work, uh, gee whiz. Who's having more fun? Me playing yeet? Are you doing budgets? Probably still me, to be honest. When I thought of how I'd been living, how I'd been approaching life, it's all so trite, so miserably pointless. When I made it to college, I knew this was a time for reinvention. This translated into wearing plaid shirts and listening to vinyl. All I needed to do was imagine the Alex I wanted to be and work towards him. Forget the old Alex and be someone worth being. Now that I'm here, floating with you, I don't know if I was approaching life right. Did any of it really matter? You talking to me, Alex? I don't know, dude. Like, uh... It's, it's sort of normal to reinvent yourself in college, I'm sure, but like... I'm just not sure you picked the best end goal to work toward. So, uh, Michael, are you going to college? They have trains in New Jersey? Huh. Yeah, I am. You don't sound so excited. It's just scary. Not the leaving home part. I don't care about that. But you have four years to ensure that you have a future. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? Yeah. When my parents were kids, you didn't have to go to college. I bet in 10 years, you'll need your master's to even be considered for a job. Ugh. I'm also scared of the debt, you know. Did your parents set up a college fund? Nah, they didn't really have that kind of money. They did good for a while, but my dad's work hasn't been going so well. Do you know what you want to go for? My mom said that when she was a kid, mind you, I don't know if women were allowed in college back then. <laughs> You just went for whatever you wanted, and the degree meant you were educated and had the qualities of a working professional. If Alex was in college for five years, how did he know Michael in high school? I don't think you knew him in high school. He said he didn't have any memories of him before high school. Which, I'm not really sure what that means in retrospect. I don't know either. But now, pick a major, get good at it, stick to it, and maybe you'll get a job. This is a conversation I'd actually have on the bus with someone I was going to school with. Which, like... Uh... <laughs> usually you want it to be a little bit more exciting than that. It's 1999, and the economy is terrible compared to my parents' day. Imagine what it'll be like for our kids' kids if we don't get our shit together. Uh... Yeah, it's scary, but 
You need to face that reality eventually. What are you leaning towards? Computers, probably. Maybe I'll make computer games. Uh. I can't imagine they'll have a major for it. But I'm good at math, and I hear making games is all math. I have to wait to 2020. I think they get there eventually. Hey, when Japanese developers make games, do they program in Japanese? <laughs> this is something I've thought about, actually. That, that, that's occurred to me a few years ago. It's like, wait a minute, in other countries, what the programming languages look like? I think they are still um, in English, mostly. Huh. I have no idea. I wonder if they have to translate programming language. I, I know that there's like, um, there have been some attempts to make like really extreme ones, like traditional Chinese programming languages, but they're mostly just gimmicks, um, because they're sort of, it's sort of its own language anyway, like functions and variables are, are named after things that are originally in English, but you just learn what they mean independently anyway, so I, I guess it doesn't matter as much as some applications, what actual language it comes from. They don't. All programming is done in English, unless you're working in pure binary. Then you just have ones and zeros. Oh, okay, Rory knows. Working in pure binary, that sounds fun. How do you know this? Oh yeah, I've tried making games before. I used Objective-C. Hot damn, you heard it good though, Rory? I was like, no. It's pretty fun. Not great at making graphics, but I'm getting there. That's awesome! You'll have to show us something sometime. What? I don't even know what Objective C is. Is that like C, C++? Like it's object oriented C, but but not. Maybe they didn't have C++ in the 90s. I I really don't know. It was an Apple language. I see. Yeah, maybe. Most of them suck, but I'm getting better at it. Oh yeah, they, they'd make variable names in their own language, I'm sure. La chat est sur la table. <laughs> but the, the cat and on the table? What, do you like, learn from a book? Yeah, I got this 5,000 page book on game programming. It came with a CD. Every day I try and do some of the examples. I want to get to the point where I don't need to check the book if I want to add features. Very based. C++ is from the 80s. That sounds more correct, yeah. Everyone does seem to still use C++, yeah. Oh, I think that's the strip mall up there. Let's go get something to eat at Burger Joint before hitting up the record store. Uh, the pound shop. We buy inventory items. Another record shop. Oh, it is it's actually a strip mall. I see. I was like, when does the town start? No, they said it was a strip mall. Imagine having to take like a, a 15 minute train ride to get to a strip mall. <laughs> that would be a... I guess it's not that unrealistic. It seems like if you're going to have a train ride, you might as well go somewhere better than a strip mall. Come on, dude. I'm starving. Let's get a burger real quick. Okay. I remember sitting at the burger joint wondering why it wasn't more like Michael or Rory. How different are you? What what makes you different, Alex? What makes you tick? Cause I'm not sure. So far you just seem kind of annoying. Michael concerned about the future. I don't know what you're concerned with, Alex. I don't know what you want or what drives you. What was your plan? If you don't if you were so upset at having to get a job, what were you going to do? What were you actually thinking before you found the cat and the and the soul dimension and shit? I don't know you, Alex. Rory, someone who had something to aspire to. At the time, I told myself I had a purpose. I was looking for Semi Park. Maybe he really doesn't know. He just came back with his liberal arts degree and just had no fucking idea what to do. I was going to find her, save her, I don't know. Something was going to happen. I'd imagine so. That's the plot of the game, I thought. Somehow there would be meaning in all this craziness. So, how about that economy? Oh my god. Yeah. 
Please don't actually talk about really the economy. Seems like the world is going to shit, doesn't it? First, Alex loses Sammy. I lose Carrie. The economy is tanking. Those are definitely related. Future looks bleak in 1999, boys. Must be Y2K. He said the name. It's pronounced Vic. What's Y2K? It's some computer virus or something that's going to destroy modern society at midnight on New Year's. Not exactly. Computers only count the last two digits of a number, so they don't know the difference between 2000 or 1900. This will cause various problems with dates and finances and will probably cause a big mess. People all over the world are panicking. When 2000 rolls around, all the computers will crash and nuclear bombs will go off. Nuclear? Nuclear? <laughs> It's pronounced nuclear. Uh, it would be nice to have not the two conversations about the economy right back to back. It would have been nice to not have that. Is this real? Like, is this really going to happen? Uh, Outsin, who listens to Economy Podcast, says they're having a post-2008 Great Recession conversation pre-dot-com bubble burst. Yeah, I thought things were on the uptick in the 90s, like everyone is making their shitty venture capitalist startups and getting $10 billion of funding and then, um, you know, buying mansions in Silicon Valley and uh, doing drugs. Like, that's what you did in the early 2000s. Inventing Bitcoin and shit. This sounds more modern. Probably. I don't know. I think I'd kind of like to see it happen. Definitely would shake things up. <laughs> Chat just says, spaz economy chart with a picture of Obama layered over it. <laughs> just describing an image to picture in your mind, yeah. It's anachronistic. What's wrong with you guys? That would cause serious problems. This is crazy. How have I never heard of this before? It's the name of the game, Alex. Like, you just weren't paying attention. Probably. Because you live under a posh little rock and only hear about the things your mommy wants you to hear about. Destroyed. You, man? Maybe that's why everything is going to shit. It's because you personally are kind of a man child. Maybe the world will end in the year 2000. We'll all die. And our souls will float up into the soul space. Yeah, definitely. Definitely connect it to whatever crackpot uh, philosophical worldview you thought of last night while smoking pot, Rory. Definitely that's part of the economy. Could you imagine? I could, but I didn't like it. Do you really think Y2K could have something to do with Sammy's disappearance? I don't see why that would be true. But in context, probably. No, I mean, that's a computer problem, right? But then again, the world does feel like it's falling apart. All that war and whatnot overseas. Oh my god. What wars? Oh, there are a few, like the insurgency in Agadin, Nepalese civil war, Republic of I'm the skipping Congo this text war. box. <laughs> I had no idea there were so many wars happening. What are they fighting? Here's gonna go through like 15 of them. Probably over the right to have more wars. Isn't that what war is usually about? War for what the fuck is this sake? game? <laughs> so uninformed. Jeez, I, I used to read the newspaper in college, but I only read this honest in 1999. Oh my god. If they're not talking about this on Onism, what boards does he frequent, you think? Does he just spend all day on, on X and V? Okay, enough of this depressing chatter. <laughs> this is uh, a podcast of boring show? people I hate, says chat. <laughs> it's kind of accurate. It's a podcast game, but all the hosts are fucking boring. Shall we shall? Let us shall. This makes me appreciate the dialogue in, like, Persona. I was never that hot on it, really. I've seen, like, Joseph Anderson play at it, but, like... It's, uh, a good deal better than this. Which character is the most depressingly dull? That's the problem, like... A lot of games have characters that are, like, weird and exaggerated, and I, d I don't always like that, but, um... Like, in theory, having grounded characters is uh, appealing to me, but when all the characters are grounded <laughs> and just are, are so grounded that they're just, like, actual people that you would find on the bus, 
um, it suddenly stops being very interesting somehow, so... I guess you need a bit of wackiness to spice things up. Unless you're, uh... I don't know. Stephen King or some shit. I don't know. Authors who write about serious things. I don't know any of them. Rock is dead. Art is dead. Music is dead. We're all going to die on New Year's. That's what my grandmother says. It must be true. She heard it on talk radio. But we've now entered the Y2K arc where all the NPCs suddenly have to support the new thematic preoccupation with Y2K. All right. Is, is he going to have a new voice? Hey, man, do you have this record? Night in the Woods is the exception. Oh, yeah, that's true. Night in the Woods. I mean, Greg is still pretty fucking wacky, but, uh, yeah. God, why am I playing? I could just be playing Night in the Woods right now. They, they should release Yeek 1.5, and it just, like, redirects you to uh, a, an executable of Night in the Woods, and that's the patch. <laughs> that would be a, a big improvement. It's, it's not even about being wacky versus being grounded, it's just about being boring, like, that That really is how to describe it, like, there, there's a difference, even if I can't quite pin down what it is. Interesting people exist in real life. Yeah. It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Did you check the racks? What we have is what we have. She has a new voice, she's voiced by Chills now. Oh. Yeah, I, I did. No, you Can did. you look in your computer or something? Fine. G give me a minute. No. <laughs> we don't have it. Number 15. Burger King's foot ass. <sighs> okay, thanks. If you wait for the bus outside, the first stop is a flagship store. Only a 15 minute ride. We're gonna have another conversation about the fucking economy, about interest rates. What were the interest rates like in 1999? I've always wanted to know. I thought never before playing this game. Oh, Planet of VHS, is that where Rory works? I called out today. Probably shouldn't be seen in here. So Rory wants to skip work to hang out with the boys, but Vela is too professional. Fucking Vela, am I right? Talk about the Kosovo Wars. I hope so. So, uh, what's up with the war on drugs? Should we legalize uh, recreational uh, drugs? How do I leave this town? Oh, wait. Hang on. Are they so weak because they don't have anything equipped? Oh no, they got it back. Huh. They they sucked the inventory items back onto themselves, it seems. That's a very strong item. Wow. Wait, why does he have the disposable camera and not the... He unequipped his actual weapon for some reason. Fuck. That's why he was so weak. Uh, Rory's fine, I think. <laughs> it's Bush versus McCain, yeah. <laughs> Wild how 9-11 is going to happen in exactly two years, huh? What? What the hell is 9-11? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very easy to picture. Um, no, I changed my mind. Here we go. What happened while I was gone? Everyone's talking politics. What? <laughs> That's because the in-game characters spent two back-to-back -back cutscenes discussing fucking boring politics. Um, and what they were going to major in at college and other such thrilling... Oh my god, another one. Riddle on the highway. I felt a sudden fondness for Rory and Michael. Why? There was something fun about our little quest for this record. I disagree. Far from my mind were the things that brought me here. Sammy's disappearance, the entities, Bella. You can't believe Rory died of D's. Who's Steve Jobs? Bella, she was probably still mad at me. A few
fuming away at her arcade, taking out her anger at me on unsuspecting tweens. I wondered why she didn't want us to find the record. I wondered if she had some bad memories associated with it, or if there was something about entities that I didn't know yet. Probably the second one, but she didn't deign to tell you that. My mind turned to Y2K. Could the world really end this year? You asked me six months ago. I'd have laughed at you. If you asked me six minutes ago, I also would have laughed at you. But now that I've seen so much strangeness, I could honestly say that stranger things have happened. Hey, that's the name of that popular Netflix series. Bort Store. Bikini Woman. Many, many, many bikini women. What, there was a Canada flag, a gay flag, and a pirate flag. Are we in gay pirate Canada, or... It's flag town. They just have all the flags. Hmm. Gay pirate Canada sounds like the setting of that one level in the, um, Strawberry Jam mod. It was just like the... Gay furry commune or something. <laughs> Somewhere in northern BC, they, they got it up there. Uh, this soccer ball is broken. It does not work. They, they forgot to turn off the friction for this one. Is this Jersey Shore? I... You know, it never once occurred to me that Jersey Shore was called that because it was set on the shore of New Jersey. That never occurred to me. Not that I ever watched Jersey Shore, but just, you know... It was always just a name. Please keep off the dunes. I don't see any dunes. Is there a heat haze in the distance? I think there's supposed to be a heat haze. We ventured a new climate uh, in our 15 minute bus ride. Sport store. Uh, slightly used Jursa. Hats are really good, apparently. A plastic hula hoop. Who's, that's for something we don't have yet, I assume. A katana? All right. I can feel a new party member coming on, guys. I'm not sure what's making me think that. I'm back for making stream art. What did I miss? The characters talked about politics for a long time. So in other words, absolutely nothing. No, stop. Go back. Here's some uh, Legends of Localization lore. Uh, apparently, the Japanese version of Undertale actually improved on the blue stoplight gag because in Japan, green lights are called blue lights for some obscure reason. So it was, it was even more literal. Alright, this is the real record shop. It'll definitely have the record. This is my favorite news stat. I tell you, you get your paper from here, you'll always hear good news. That's an interesting property of a newsstand. We are now in Gay Pirate Canada, yes. Oh, this is a big one. They got the real clerk back. That's how you know it's the good one. The real clerk only works at the good record store. Missing person, though. Who's that? That seems relevant. Is that going to be his missing brother or something that's going to be part of his side quest? Hey, man. I'm looking for this record, you've probably never heard of it. He's talking to the wrong side of the counter. It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. I have the jacket, but I'm missing the record. I guessed it in one. The, I mean, it's a unique asset. They're few and far between, so... Do, do you come from the internet? Are you from Onism 1999? What? What? 
Yeah, I mean, I go on there, but how did you know? What if he just asks that to everyone in the store, and then if they say yes, he kicks them out? I'm guessing it wasn't you who posted that, was it? Haven't you checked the forums today? Somebody posted a photo Claudio. of this record jacket, and they've been asking people if they have a copy. Someone else? Is that Vela, like, using counter-espionage? They said it had something to do with Semi Park's disappearance. Do you come from the internet? That Alex used that line on himself before. Which makes me think that, like, it's in his, like, bio or something. It's, it's like, the quote underneath his, um, account on the forum. And he's like, oh, that's the guy who literally comes from the internet. How do you know about Semi? I go on the forum too, obviously. Yeah, I've been following Semi's story for a while. But aren't you the guy who posted the photos of her last known location? I am, but... Wow, it's just... I had no idea anyone around here even knew about Semi. I'm just shocked. It's a pretty reasonable reaction. Hmm. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Claudia. Whoa. That's his yeek face now. The, uh, the red sunglasses are just for show. What is that on his shirt? Is that like the Powerpuff Girls or S Sailor Moon or something? I don't know. I'm Alex. This is Michael. He's the one who took the photos. And this guy here is Rory. He also works on autism. He could be excited or he could be like a millisecond from punching Alex in the face. It's ambiguous. Looks like Precure. There we go. Someone in chat is more uh, schooled in the, the weebish arts was able to correctly identify it. Hey, great. Uh, His eyes have save points. That's really useful, LP, yeah. Huh? Well, sorry, we don't got it. For fuck's sake. <sighs> but I do know where you can get it. Nashville. It's gonna sound a bit odd. Hell, you know what? I'll come with you. I own this stupid place. I can take a break whenever I want. Hell yeah. Just walk out of the store. Yeah, we're down. Where do we go? There's this old guy. He's on a mountain south of here. Oh. He's a real chill guy, a bit out there, but he's got the biggest record collection on the East Coast. I'm picturing him live, like literally living in a cave on the mountain like he's a Zelda NPC. <laughs> that would be way cooler. Like he doesn't have a house, but he has a record collection. He's bound to have it. Let me, let me just grab my sister. Hey, Chandra, come here a minute. What's up, Claudio? That's a Chandra. I thought there was a gondola on her shirt, but it's just a cat. I'm gonna run the Mox for a bit. Do you wanna come with us? Yeah, hold on. Let me get James to watch the front. These two seem to have better character art than the others, but to, to some degree at least. So, how do we get there? Maybe it's just the facial hair. Like, they just look weird the less facial hair they have. It's a bit of a hike. That's my nice working walk. theory. Head to the mountain south of here. He has a little cottage on top. Can't miss it. Wait, does she have pants? Why is she so thick? She was wearing pants. Uh, it's a, a poignant observation, um, Roserade. The brick alley boy has just announced that- Oh, the back alley. Never mind. They're going to visit Twin Pine Mall as part of their mall tour. If I want to see them, I'll have to call out sick. Are mall tours a real thing, or is that a joke? That sounds incredibly lame. I was sent here by a pan-dimensional android to find this record, the Back Alley Boys. What are you doing here? It's like they thought of one parody music band name, and they're just spamming it. The sister's owner is a total babe. Shwing? Oh god, don't use the fucking Hisoka sound effect. I don't want to think about pedo clowns. Shady Shopper. I don't actually like listening to the music. I just come in here to try to pick up chicks. <laughs> Alright. So half of the store's customers are just in here to like hit on the, uh, the guy's sister. Um, that's not even his... Wait, I thought he was getting his sister to man the till. He just got the same guy again. What clowns? Uh, just watch Hunter Hunter, it'll make sense. 
the music nerd. Welcome. Oh, I can actually buy it from this guy, huh? Uh, that's a shitty LPs. Six strength. That seems good. Ooh, a better guitar. Well, that's worth getting, but not until we have Vela in the party. Uh, this seems like an upgrade. I'll take that. It's where they ask, will that be all as the confirm message, but then they give you an option to buy more, and if you say that won't be all, then you just don't buy it in the first place. Say a thing. No, I... Ah, fuck. Um, what time is it? Let me check. Almost five hours of streaming so far, huh? I'll go for a bit longer. I feel like nothing has happened. Like, we had that big burst of excitement at the very beginning, and it's just been sort of jack shit since then. <laughs> it's just become incredibly boring. Um, so I gotta walk to the mountain man. Let's do that. <laughs> Chat plays Yeek for the complex political commentary. I just play it for the shop clerk's thighs. I'm not sure what you're on about. <laughs> Shadow of Rosarid hopes the Easter Bunny will lay, uh, lay an egg in their pillow. Good night. Uh, Alright, bye Rosarid. Crucial yeek lore. The tension decreases until the game is over. <laughs> I hope not. That would suck. Uh, oh, there it is. The... The fuck is that flag? It's like... It's like you started with transgender, but then it went Neapolitan. It's, that's the Neapolitan ice cream flag. Um, gay Pirate Canada. Here we go. Pride flag experts in chat. Scholars of the first pride flag. Why is there just a maple leaf down there? Why all the Canada rep suddenly? Japan, UK, America, and Canada. The only four countries you need. I guess that covers a lot of it. You know, rareware, that's English. Uh... If you disqualify Canada, you have to disqualify Celeste, so uh, then everything else comes from America and uh, Japan. Though, of course, you'd want Finland in there too, and maybe Panama for Bug Fables. Just in case you really like Bug Fables. Don't block my son. My boyfriend went to get a beach ball over an hour ago. I wonder where he's gotten off to. If you see him, let him know I'm busy. Oh wait, that won't work. You have no idea what he looks like. Uh... Surfer Joe. Oh, I used to be a surfer. That is, before the accident. I was walking down the stairs when I tripped. Fell directly onto my surfboard and cracked it in half. Maybe one day I'll be rich enough to buy a new one. Until then, I just sit here looking longingly at the sea. And rewatching that one movie about the surfing penguins over and over again. His voice tried to turn English for a split second, but I saved it. Ah, oh God! Every any time someone opens the door with his face, I just want to run away. I've been sick since the start of this summer. School's starting, and I've barely gotten to go to the beach. Make sure you enjoy the hot weather. That kid is crazy, dude. Madeline is Alex's daughter, so they're both ginger. Checks out. Alex is actually from the lineage of Radagon of the Golden Order. Uh, which is debatably rooted in the fire giants, but, you know, we don't talk about that. Um, I thought there was going to be a fishing mini game, but Alex just stared into the ocean that I can't see because the camera's pointing the wrong direction. He's thinking about size 2 fish. 
Can I walk on these? I, I really feel like I should be able to walk on these. Damn. Um, there's a lot of, like, random empty space in these towns. I just don't have anything in them. It's a bit strange. Didn't you say to the south there was a mountain? Alex Geek reproduces through mitosis. How do you unlock the Sands fight? I think you have to find every record store, and eventually the clerk will get so mad that he'll take off his skin suit and he'll be Sands underneath. But why- it's just a bunch of fences in a field. There's nothing else here. There's not even the League of Moribund Alcoholics from Disco Elysium to chat with. It's... Um, can I take a bus? Was that, was that like, code speak for take a bus now? Apparently not. I just have to walk. What, this whole town is just the record store? Holy shit. It's like a gold rush community that just sprung up around sustaining the one record store. What's a group of Alex Yeeks called? Um, a BLA? McDonald's, dude, it's here. What, we got overworld narration, bruh? Is this what going through the drive-thru looks like in universe? Welcome to Wick Days. Didn't even have the balls to go for McDonald's, eh? Uh, these healing items suck ass. But I could use the PP. And they're cheap. $69, nice. Wait, did the sense round down? Oh no, they don't. It's 69.90. Unclear if that's more or less nice. Come again. Oh. So now I have to use Claudio, right? Here he is. He has a katana for some fucking reason. <laughs> like, it's like they used the record for Alex already, and so the record store guy had to... They just had to pick something out of a hat, and they're like, Ah, katanas are a weapon. Oh, because he has an anime t-shirt. That checks out, that checks out. It's time for the LP toss. I think a steady rhythm may be better. Maybe it's just completely arbitrary. Oh my god. That was devastating. I didn't even equip the new, uh, weapon. <laughs> imagine you work at the drive-thru and some dude orders 10 sodas. I mean, I don't have to imagine it. I worked at the drive-thru for two years at McDonald's. I don't think anyone ever ordered 10 sodas, but, um, I took, like, 90 to $100 orders at the drive-thru before. People just do that. They don't give a fuck. It's, it's like some guy who woke up first after the big party and everyone's hungover and he has to go get, like, 40 cheeseburgers. Um, and one time you had a bus, like a tour bus full of tourists or something, who all appeared to be, like, Muslim for some reason, and they were all ordering ice cream at 8 o'clock. That, that was unique. Mount Town. So, that's either short for Mountain Town, or it, it's the name of the mountain. It's just Mount Town. Uh, all right. We're being blocked. These are not destructible rocks. We need a, a level two hammer to break these rocks. Yeah. It's Mount Ebot, holy fuck! That's a... Oh, I thought... Okay, it's just a camera transition. No parking, ever. We're really in America. We're super in America. None of that Canada, Japan shit. Only America from now on. Oh wait, the sister's here too. But she doesn't show up in battle. She is like a non-combat party member entity. What are all these people doing here? Usually it's so quiet here. Any ideas, Claudio? Well, there may or may not have been a post on answer, but a ghost standing nearby. 
Oh yeah, I saw that. Some people said the ghost of Semi Park was haunting the cave nearby. Sammy? I gotta voice all this now? Okay. I really doubt it's her. One of the commenters on the post said it was his sister, who was haunting a cassette tape or something. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, Rory? Eh? <laughs> Sounds kind of like <laughs> that one time, you know? Personally, if you want the details, I'd just check on Sim. We need to check it out. If it's Sammy, I need to know. Is it Park or Park? It's both and neither, depending on the phase of the moon. Um, someone said that Park is pronounced, or Pack is pronounced Park, but I, I just don't know anymore. Um, I'm receiving an above average level of misinformation from chat during these streams because I just don't think anyone really knows that much about Yeek. It's just a mystery. Every party member uses 4chan? It really is. Like, that's what unites them. That's what has to be what unites them. It, I think it would feel a lot spunkier if they were, like, uh, you know, the supernatural, like, grassroots Ghostbuster squad. That's sort of a trope, right? But it would be more enduring if they weren't literally just all on paranormal 4chan boards together. It sort of takes the piss out of it preemptively. They're not poll users, they're on X. It's only X. Uh, okay, let's take a look. We'll have to go through the cave if we want to see Mark anyway, so it's on the way. Awesome, we can kill two birds with one stone. Mark. Um. What? Why are you knocking? Please go away. I've been up all night. The crazy rock star at the top of the mountain plays guitar into the wee hours of the night. The sweeping arpeggios and wild pinch harmonics are so brutal. I can't sleep from all the headbanging I'm doing. Sounds kind of cool. Um, I kind of like the art style of these log cabins. It, it sort of works for them for some reason. Fun fact, the golden alpaca originally had a changing design in battle where it got bigger than most soul survivors it absorbed. I'm guessing that's just playing along with the bit where I said that no one has any correct information about Yeek, but if true, that's kind of interesting. But oh, the scarecrow is here. Are you going to buy my property? I know it's simple, but I promise it has potential. What? You're not interested in living in a tent? Why wouldn't you want to live outside and exposed to the elements? Ah, no, I understand. This is going to appreciate in value. This is just like an Earthbound. I, I maintain that Ness did not get ripped off when he bought that house. That thing's going to be worth like f half a million dollars uh, once the housing market blows up in 20 years. It's true. Someone checked. It says the same chat member. <laughs> What are the lore implications of Scarecrows being sentient and yeek? Uh, nothing. We, we already know that there's random monsters roving around, just anthropomorphic emoji and shit. It's not really a big deal. Um, is this Halloween Town? We, we had Autumn Town, but now we have, like, Summer Halloween Town. Exactly, that tent will be 3000 a month rent in 2023. This is Easter Town. Ah. The traditional Yeekian massive fucking field of jack shit at the southernmost part of the town. Uh, very cool. Someone in chat is eating a big bowl of pasta and having a good time. Well, I'm glad. Um, these people are wearing pe- Oh, these are like ghost busting packs, I think? Unless they're just really weird super soakers. Yeah, they're Ghostbusters, I get the joke. People say there's been a ghost sighting around here. If anyone can find it, it's my team. Is that Matthew Macabre? A Macabre Matthew. God, it somehow ruins it. Like, Matthew Macabre is like a funny name, then Macabre Matthew is like a wrestler from Wrestling Empire by M. Dickey, you know? <laughs> Very different aesthetics. Here's another samurai. Buster Bradley. I'm not getting any readings over here, but my gut tells me I'm close. We'll find this ghost if it's the last thing I do. 
tiny rocks? Those are kind of cute, actually. Crack. We know what's up. Birch beer all the way, even if it's expensive. I've noticed a weird dichotomy of thought while at the grocery store the other day. Like, I was considering buying some fancy ginger beer, um, like the non-alcoholic, like, fancy soda, but it was like, ah, oh, that's so expensive, I don't want to spend so much money on, like, pop. But then I went and bought a beer, uh, like, a case of beer for $20, so, like, it just made me think, you know, like, should I have just been drinking the, the soda? Like, if I wanted to pay that much for beer, do I really value the alcohol content? Like, not really? It's just one of those shower thoughts, you know? beer make you feel good? Well, in theory, but, you know, I usually don't really even care that much about that aspect of it. I've just sort of trained myself to, like, like beer. Whereas, you can drink fancy, uh, like, ginger beer, you don't have to train yourself to like that. Uh, this is the vending machine that only sells shitty drinks. Cool. And this one sells pizza or something. Okay. Um, you can always have more BLTs, I guess. Beer is a very pleasant taste. Contextually. Uh, I like some beers. But the thought was like, do I really value the beer that much more? Or is it just because I've like... I'm conditioned to the fact that beer is this expensive, and, and pop being that expensive is unusual, and so I balk at the thought, you know? It's like, am I actually paying for the enjoyment I'll get, or the thought of how much it should be worth, technically? Um, they really seem to dig the, um, the blue and pink porta potty scheme. It's like standardized across all of New Jersey. Chat says the only shower thoughts I have are horny ones. I, I don't think that's supposed to be what shower thoughts are usually referring to. Um, maybe on the Reddit that's what it actually is. I've never actually browsed r slash sour thoughts. <laughs> Chat, do you have the blue pee or the pink pee? That sounds like some sort of like a... Uh, late 90s to early 2000s like gimmick candy where it's like eat our fancy moon rocks and you'll you'll piss blue rad but it'll be some sort of like horrific um like push popsicle that's that stains your flesh if you touch it but it makes your piss turn blue and that's the whole thrust of the marketing okay autumn uh mountain now nice it's it's peepus pops yeah The alpaca had a bulge? What, why is this relevant now? Are, are you far enough back in the stream to be looking at the alpaca's bulge? Or was there the alpaca and I just missed him? I don't know. I have to check at least. I don't think the alpaca was here. Or a master from chat is just in their own world currently looking at the alpaca bulge, it's fine. What's this say? Oh, the Southern Cave. Alpaca is free bait? You're thinking of Task Manager. Alpaca isn't anything bait. <laughs> it's just supposed to look like every DeviantArt OC. Dude, there's two pizzas in that chest. Chat's going down the rabbit hole with Fred Nudson? Hmm. Anyone ever watch um, Fred Nudson stream with Jabroni Mike? I'd recommend that duo. They, they don't do it very often, but they have some very funny streams together. Um, if, if you want to see a side of Fred Nudson that isn't just like really cut and dry narrator mode, uh, that that's the go-to. That man has a dirty fucking mind given the right environment. Um, that is a spooky cave.
I'm, someone in chat is debating that f furries are into the alpaca. Well, I'm sure some are. I mean, God knows they're not a monolith. I wouldn't want to generalize the furry populace, but... Uh, kablooey. I just feel statistically that's not what furry art tends to look like. That's that's what like deviant art OCs tend to look like. I think there's a difference. Can I climb that? It looked like it was covered in thorns, but I guess I can climb it. Uh, why are people just chilling out in the cave? It's not a skirt, it's a skirt. All right. Spaghetti. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. What does it do? I have to know. Oh, we got a Chandra. We have room for eight party members. That's kind of intimidating. Um, what's the, uh, the, the spaghetti do? Noodles and ketchup. That's not spaghetti. Don't be fooled. Um, I should equip the record, by the way. I can't remember what any of these records are called, though, because the names are all so elaborate. It's not even as good as a BLT. Uh, what a disappointment. Um, why do I have an option to buy the starting weapons for characters? That seems really pointless. How many Alex monologues have there been? I, I don't count. There's been more like other character monologues, like all the fucking the Y2K conversation that went on for six hours. Um... Is that Chandra's weapon? She's just not in battle yet? I don't know. Uh, where was the new record I got? Now that's what I call music. Is that the one? Can I equip that maybe? Um, oh, it's a PP up. That's actually good. You need starter weapons to get the true ending. I'm sure that's not misinformation. Uh, if only I could get across that bridge, then I'd be able to find the ghost. An amateur amateur. Is that like a... What? Am <laughs> does that cancel out to being a professional or does that mean something else completely? It's curious. There must be some sort of trick. Have you tried the cat? Oh, it's not... I'm sure it's the cat somehow will solve the problem. Oh, see, the cat passes through the bridge. That's progress of some sort. Uh, maybe the panda? Haven't used the panda in a while. I thought it would maybe, like, crush the bridge down, but nope. Here, hold this. Ah, uh, shit. I mean, ah, uh, shit. I mean, there you go. Use the base? These these rocks don't look breakable though. I can try it. Yeah, the other the breakable rocks have like really obvious cracks and look like Zelda assets. Um Oh I, I see. I get it. it. It was the cat. I was just being a pissy baby fuck who can't read the environment. Why is Lux Eyewalker here? Uh, I didn't see the Lux. Oh, you're thinking of the Gengar. Uh, they're naturally occurring in this region of New Jersey, I guess. Oh, fuck. All already coming. All right, some bats and feculents. Let's see what uh, Claudio can do. We got new battle music, that's cool. <laughs> I gotta get my dodging mojo back. Fuck, he's dead. Well, that's no good. That's a bit cringe. Uh, I got enough summoning salts, though. I think I can waste some of those. Yeah, <laughs> Eyewalker. Fake Undertale fan. Get it right. They should add blood-curdling screams. There already are. You're not hearing the, the dialogue or the, uh, the combat grunts? Alex just howls in agony. Look out for number one. Yeah. All right, what's he do? Bushido. The way of the warrior. Move fast, unleash hidden skills. That sounds sweet. 
It's it's still targeted though. Uh, I guess fat. What am I doing? Oh, I have to mimic it. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like a, a quick draw, like a reflex test, but it was different. Oh, that was close. There we go. Mojo is back. Yeah, the screams aren't loud enough. I can agree with that. The, the voices in general are way um, too quiet in this game compared to the music. Especially with how breathy Alex is. Like, they could really use um, an increase on his audio volume. Okay, this is what I wanted to do with Alex. The Strat. Uh, I'm having some trouble hitting anything here. Oh well. That kind of sucked. Yeah. That really sucked. My well, photo shoot got my back. That was pretty good. Even though they're resistant. <laughs> Everything's resistant. Oh, okay. Only literal feces is weak to Alex. <laughs> kind of true. Uh, rats are also weak to Alex. I have to point out. Just keep tanking. Claudio. That's what you're good at. All right, let's try the Bushido again. If it wants me to do it fast, it would be nice if it just gave me the arrow, like, immediately, and it didn't have to slowly animate out from the center point. It'd be much easier to recognize. Sparrow song? Pretty mediocre down for how long that QTE takes. I guess he has a base weapon, though. The Golden Poo is a reference to Koroks in Breath of the Wild. I mean, in Outer Wilds it was. I'm not sure about here. Maybe. Okay, fecal funny critical hit, let's go. Only 15, okay, these enemies are actually just really tanky, I guess. Uh, I tried putting it to like story easy mode, but then um, that didn't really make the battles any faster, so here we are. I just attack it, who cares? Michael! Okay. Um, let's see what beatdown's like. Hold X to move, release, and zone. Ooh, first, first try! Shot. That took a while. Oh, he doesn't hit them with the katana, he kicks a hacky sack. Why not? God, Claudio is cool. He has superfluous red sunglasses, and he has a, a katana, and he does hacky sack. And he owns a record stop. That's a type of dude. Reminds me of my uncle. What's the sign say? Avoid the pink toxic waste. Walking in it will cause damage to your entire party. If walking through it is unavoidable, make sure to heal your party. Say the game designers after making it unavoidable. Um, we already encountered this. I did not touch that, by the way. Uh, we already encountered this in the factory zone. So I don't know why we're getting the tutorial now. I'm slightly convinced that's a private joke with the developers, just like having tutorials and like really useless points in the game after you've already clearly encountered the mechanic. Claudio is too cool for the rest of the cast. He's almost comically cool. Um, 
Oh, I guess that's what they meant about it being unavoidable. Have fun, Lamau. Ow. The whole point of this dungeon is to get to a guy who may have a record. That's been the whole point of the stream. It has been like an infinite ongoing side quest. Or not a side quest, this is the plot. It's just to get a record, which we know that Vela doesn't want us to get, but we don't know why, and we also don't know why we want to get it. A ghost told us to. Um, what is this wall doing? Are those like tiny coniferous trees, or are they stalag... What is it? If it's sideways, is it a stalagmite or a stalactite? I'm really not sure if it covers that case. Work's been slow lately, but I've been checking on some for ghost sightings. If you see one, give me a call. Michael's like, I invented that website, by the way. Did you know that I invented that website? I came here to find the ghost of Semi Park. What? Why? All I found was this Charlie horse. Ah, uh, no one told me going outside would be so much work. Why are all these people from fucking 4chan? What, what kind of loony bin universe are we in where everyone just naturally occurs and is from 4chan? It's, it's maddening. For how simple this plot point is, it's taking way too long. Well, the thing is, uh, the developers of Yika Postmodern RPG have played RPGs before, and so they are genre-savvy enough to know that this is what RPGs are like. Oh, fuck that. That's like the, the chest in the FromSoft game, where it's like you gotta walk through the seven-minute-long Scarlet Rot Swamp with the piss geysers, and then fight a boss, and then, uh, then you fall off a cliff before you get to the treasure chest chest. Um... How long have you two been in here? All this ghost hunting has really revived the spark in our relationship. Are you a g g g g g g g g ghost? Okay. I'm not really feeling the shaggy impression now. Seriously, how did they get in here? This feels like a Pokemon dungeon just because of all the random NPCs loitering around. <laughs> Okay, catering. Got to equip the catering. Uh, there it is. Fuck off, ghosts! Oh shit! What? They they pause in place when you when you aim the cat? Really? Oh no, they only move when you move. I think super hot. So that's weird. All right, well we're back here, I guess. See, if I could alter the turn order, I could use Michael to buff Alex and then attack with Alpitas, you know, like, practically, but the turn order is fixed, so I'm kind of... Well, Alex is also dead, so that's a bit of a damper on that plan. Let's just run the fuck away. Alright, I got lucky that time. But nope, nope, I got unlucky. Claudio is a ninja and a samurai. Oh. Oh. Okay, they gave us the free win minigame that time. You would have dropped this game a long time ago? I mean, I'm playing it for a stream. I wouldn't be playing this in my spare time. There's that game uh, called Dredge that I've actually wanted to play. I played the demo. It's like a Lovecraftian fishing simulator. It's pretty funny. Shit, how did I fuck that up twice? I have to remember that they just don't follow you if you don't move. That's a good one would recommend. Yeah, the the full game came out and I haven't had a chance to play it yet. But I want to. Alright, Alex, do your thing. Flee in terror. From the spooky scary skull. Oh, look at that. That was frame perfect. We gotta whip my hair back and forth here for a sec. Someone said that this ability was never used outside of the dungeon, and that was a lie. 
Oh, I do like the little mystery reveal jingle here. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, you gotta have a good mystery jingle. Ah, oh, fuck, I'll, I'll get the chest. Alex is probably dead right now. I'm not sure this can put you below one health, but if it can, he's dead. That was not at all worth it, holy shit. Okay. What's the uh, Macbeth quote? I'm already overstepped in blood or something. Might as well continue. Is this plot progression? Oh, so the other way was like a side path? I, I'm not, I can't tell. Hmm. Chat just lies a lot. Not a lot of people have played Leek. Yeah, um... I guess it's almost like the amount of tips that chat gives you is constant, but the amount of actual knowledge underlying the tips is completely variable. <laughs> That's sort of what it feels like. Um, actually, let's save, and I think I'm going to call the stream here, because um, I've got to go eat, uh, you know, family dinner and all that for Easter. Um, so i got to get ready for that. And that's been long enough. This has gone on for five and a half hours. Um, not every Yeek stream has to be a seven hour Yeek stream, I think, for my health. Um, it's just unfortunate. I kind of waited for something interesting to happen, but it didn't for the whole stream. After the first uh, burst of excitement, it's just been like doldrums uh, on and on and on, trying to find a fucking LP. Uh, Outs and finished art just in time. Oh, hell yeah. Let's look at the art. Would you like to save your data? Brisk. Holla. Jeff. Ooh. A throwback to better times. Okay, that's enough yeeking around. Uh, let's get some art. After I quit this game. Oh, it's quitting. It's quitting real slow. Here's a pro tip to any uh, prospective game developers. Make it so that if I mash escape enough times, the game will close itself. That's my favorite feature of The Binding of Isaac. If at any point I get angry at the run, I can just like mash escape and it'll, it'll eventually leave the game. Uh, all right, let's look at the Discord then. Uh, all right, we have another uh, geeking Tesla from Walter the Frog. Very excited. Always love to see it. Um, I'm going to open up these first and then show them, I guess. Here we go. That is a yeeking Tesla, all right? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it is an iconic pose. You got to give the game that. Oh shit, you show art? Uh, yeah, uh, if people make art during the stream, I show it at the end of the stream. That's how it goes. Um, Mostly, like, it was during those election trucking streams where we had such a ridiculous amount of art. Uh, oh, Mooks made a Yeekster one. That's cool. It's just the Yeek cast wearing bunny ears, but they're un unidentifiable except for Alex because all their designs are so generic. <laughs> That's good. It was a good attempt. Uh, oh, here's v VT Holmes. Um, That's cursed as fuck. Wait. It's uh the Yeek cast, but they're under... No, it's, it's the Deltarune cast, but Yeekified. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, unless that's a, a work in progress and there's a finished one later on. Um, I'm not sure where the art actually starts. I'm scrolling upward currently. That's hilarious, though. <laughs> well, like, two of them just have identical striped shirts, so you, you can't really even tell which. I guess the hood is uh, Rory. And Sans is in, like, um a tartan skirt but it looks like it's just his leg bones showing through and he's wearing no pants which is great birdly is you know alex is is obvious that's a work in progress so there's a better one later all right um 
Okay, that's, I don't think that's yeet. I think this is back into Anik art. So there's still this one by Neb Thing. Which is me not enjoying the infamously bad video game Yeek. Yeah, that's my face in real life for sure. Uh. Uh, and now we gotta scroll down. Okay, here's the finished version of the uh, <laughs> the VT Homes. I, it, it looks better in color. You can, you can tell that Sans's legs aren't just exposed. That's really something. Wow. I mean, Chris's Rory is a very good fit. Alex's Birdly, obviously. Um, Noel is Michael, not really, but you know, someone's gotta be Michael. I just like that Noel in general. It's, that's a very good Noel. <laughs> And, uh, you know, Sans, Interdimensional Traveler, checks out. It still kind of looks like the skirt is see-through. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with that is. It's just one of those funny non-Euclidean skirts. I don't think Sans' character design was really built with um, skirt in mind. It wasn't really part of the warranty. The choker, too, that's really something. Uh, is this Yeek? I think so. It's just Birdly. It's It seems vaguely Yeek related. Kreth, I'm simply too intellectual to come out about your dead, uh, to care about your dead brother. Do you believe in karma, Alex? Or that's Rory literally asking, do you believe in karma, Alex? Do you believe in like astral projection and like souls and, and shit and metaphysics and shit and like you can, your soul can like have a certain amount of time to stay in your body but sometimes it, it leaves before you die and other stuff? I, I thought of that last night when I couldn't sleep. I thought it was pretty cool. And, oh wow. There's the out center. Holy shit. That's, uh, just looking at it. Just looking at it. Oh Jesus. Um, yeah, the outsider is getting incredibly cursed from these streams. It's a bad influence, clearly. Okay, so first off, we have Rory without. Oh, he he takes his hood down and he's bald. <laughs> that is, that's exactly how I see it. Uh, yeah, he's got some weird weird face. Rory has a bit of a weird face syndrome, and so does Michael. But that's a good Michael too. Holy shit, he looks vaguely like. Like skeletal. He looks like he'd mug you in an alley in that, just for some reason. He, he is, of course, wearing the Chris Chan shirt. That's the obvious part, but I thought that kind of spoke for itself. The fluoride stare? I don't even know what the fluoride stare is referencing, to be honest. That goes over my head. Uh, we have, okay, Alex's hair tentacle, which may or may not just be a lot of cream, like a lot of hair lotion, I don't know. It's a Facebook conspiracy meme. Ah, yes, okay. Um, we have Alex and Sunny. New Jersey? Well, I'm from Faraway Town, and I never heard a soul survivor. Is that how people speak in New Jersey? I don't know. Oh, it's not Faraway, it's a Frankton-based entity. It's, it's uh, uh, Omori, the, <laughs> well, the dialogue, what, what is the dialogue? Oh, it's because they're both in New Jersey. Okay, first, I just, I had a brain fart and forgot that that was the connection. I'm sorry. It's very funny with the context. And, um, and this, <laughs> whatever the fuck is happening down here, that, that, um, uh, the golden alpaca looks a lot like better than in game. You actually like really um, hit the character design with the glow up by accident here, Edson. Oh, it's steamed hams. Oh my god, there's like three layers of reference up here. Ah shit, I don't watch enough steamed ham uh, remakes, I guess, to to get that reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just steeped in a lot of, just a lot of really poignant degeneracy, and I love it. Um, that's very good out. Sin, thank you as always. It's a wonderful summary of the streams.
Do I not know steamed hams by heart? And no, not really, actually. Um, I was sort of late to the party with that whole meme format, and then I never looked into it that much, but I've seen a few, but I don't have it memorized, you know? Oh, yeah, the golden alpaca kind of looks like Mr. Peanut Butter and Bart Simpson have been merged together. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional, but fuck. Uh, all right. So it's, um, it feels awkward ending these streams because the background music cuts out as soon as they minimize the game. So it's just kind of this eerie silence that I'm not used to. Uh, but yes, that was Yeekster Sunday. I hope you all enjoyed that and that you had nothing better to do today on this holiest of days when we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Um, anyway, that was fun and I'll see you all next week for more Yeek perhaps. Unless there's something really cool that I think of that isn't Yeek, but it, it might just be Yeek again. All right. Goodbye.